good. Hold on! You must be tired of these lectures. I know I'm tired of giving them. And now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else? I don't care. Yes, that is the crux of the problem. I don't see why I'm the only one being punished. Because you started the fight. You wouldn't give me back my book. I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself to blame. It doesn't give him the right to just snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? It wasn't just about the book. What was it then? Nothing. 
I'll save it for confession. No matter what I try, you seem insistent on going down the same sad road as your brother. What a waste. See you. Up and around we go. and quiet. Uh-oh. Isn't it our job to help boys like him? In the meantime, I'm neglecting the other dozen boys under my care. <sighs> what do you want me to do? You know my opinion. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up on him yet. You can't keep avoiding it. <sighs> Look, I'll... Talk to him in the morning, okay? Good night, Father. Good night, Sister Catherine. Sister. Watch your back. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. What was that? Uh, really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. He was talking shit about us. So? He said that Dad dumped us here because we're worthless, and Mom is in hell because... Nathan, Nathan, come on. They're just saying it because it gets to you. All right? You just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. Well, do as I say, not as I do. Here. You'll catch a cold. So, what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you, and I couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice you jump. Come on, yeah, give me a... Sheesh, you might. The sister's feeding you enough. The yeah, place is kind of empty. Where is everyone? Some Bible retreat. Yeesh, I remember those. How's Father Duffy doing? He's the one decent guy in there. You should come and say hi. Nah, I don't need the guilt.
This way. That was easy. Come on. You didn't prop it. I, I... I did. At least I thought I did. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take the high road. The high road? Just follow me. Watch... this. Whoa. And now... we take the high road. Have you done this before? Uh... once or twice. Here, come on. Your turn. So, what you been up to? I'm working mostly. Are you still dating that girl? Oh, I... Crystal? Oh, on again, off again. Currently off again. Okay. No guts. No glory. Whoa, whoa. Just don't think about it. You got this. See? No big deal. Yeah. Nothing to it. Stay with me. <sighs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Totally. Yeah, through here. Uh, right behind you. <sighs> There's a jump coming up. Okay. Right down the middle. Uh, nice and easy. Nice and uh, easy. Uh, oops. Was that a sin? I think that's a sin. Are you ready, Tarzan? Yeah. All right, go ahead. It's a nice view, huh? Yeah. Not bad. You ever been up here before? This particular room? No. But you do know where you're going, right? Yeah, more or less. You wait here, and you watch me. Oh, oh, oh. Your turn. Okay. All right, go ahead. Just don't overthink it. I did it. Yeah, of course you did. Here, follow me. You know what? How about you take this one? Really? Yeah, really. I'll follow your lead. Okay. Just like that, we're out. 
All right. Check it out. Huh? Whoa, <laughs> you got the 250? 250? What are you talking about? No, this is the 500 cc twin. No way. Yeah. Where'd you lift it from? Whoa. That's a low blow. But hey, I'll have you know that I am a changed man. Bought this with hard-earned cash. Here, come on, take a seat. What? The only time you pull a stunt like this is when you're trying to make up for something. You are too smart for your own good, you know that? All right. I got this job. Pays well. Really well, but, uh... I gotta leave town for a little bit. What's a little bit? Uh, like a, a year, at the most, and then I'll be back before you even know it, all right? You're bailing on me. Uh, come on, don't be so dramatic. What, so it wasn't bad enough to leave me in that place? How could you do this to me, Sam? Hey, wait, I'm doing this for you. The money I make is for the both of us. And then in a couple of years, a when you're out- years? Take me with you. I, I can barely support myself. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. Yeah, but it's the best thing for you right now. All right? You just gotta trust me on that one. It's not fair. Hey. Nothing about our lives has been fair. But we've made it work. Right? Sure. Well, you know, the bike wasn't the only surprise. And I guess I'm gonna have to ruin the next one. What? I found Mom's stuff. Everything that Dad sold, I tracked down the buyer. If you're saying this just to make me feel better... Mm -hmm. I swear to God. Where? Yeah. On the other side of town. What do you say we go and get it back? You mean steal it? Eh, it's not stealing if it was ours to begin with. I'm pretty sure the cops aren't going to see it that way. Well, then let's not get caught. You ready for this? Hell yeah. Esto va a estar más fácil de lo que esperaba, eh? You're gonna have to do better than that, pal. Acabemos con esto. Let's go. Este gringo sabe pelear, ¿eh? Demuéstrame, ¿quién manda? Tú lo empezaste. A ver cómo te sales de esta, acá. ¿Qué tal esto? Asshole, let go of me. Gáralmelo. Right back at you. Lucha como un hombre. Ay. Ay, 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 Come on, Come on. amigo. Te voy a matar, come mierda. Te voy a cerrar la bocota, gringo. Get not for me. Ya basta. Derríbalo. My turn. Regresenme. Ya basta, idiota. Suéltame. We weren't fighting, huh? Right, little guy? Te voy a matar, gringo, come mierda. Hey, give me a call when you're tall enough to ride the rides. Te voy a sacar tiras por el culo. Solitaria. Cállalo. Te voy a estar esperando aquí, eh? Abre. Come on. How long am I supposed to be in here? Huh? Where's the toilet? You looking at it. Have fun. I will. Gracias.
Get up. Oh, man, I was having a great dream, too. Hey, hey, hey. All right, easy. Ah. Go. All right, calmate. Culpa, pendejo. Hey, uh, any chance I can take a shower? Morning, boys. Or is it the evening? It's hard to tell down here. Oye, idiota. Get up the stairs. Viene saliendo un prisionero. Abran las rejas. Una semana. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> Humid. Ah. Welcome to Panama. Hey, gringo. Vi lo que hiciste a Gustavo. Tengo un Estás cuchillo muerto. que tiene tu nombre, amigo. Te lo hey, Vargas. Cuando regrese. Déjanoslo a nosotros. Nos encargamos Atrás. de él. Muévanse. Quítense, cabrones. Hey, hey. Tranquilízate. Looks like you have some fans. Yeah, my adoring public. Abre la reja. ¿A dónde lo llevas? <risa> es una sorpresa. <risa> Diviértete. I do speak a little Spanish, you know. <risa> Wait, what, what did you say? You'll find out soon enough. Te lo advertí. Pero no escuchaste. <risa> ¿Qué está mirando? Nada, amigo. Nada. Atrás. De este me encargo yo. Bien. Where are you taking me? You'll see. Por favor. Para. Para. After you? Yeah, this isn't sketchy at all. Hey, you know, this doesn't look like the warden's office. Go lab. Yeah, I'm on it. Through there. Through here? Here we are. All right. Hey, take these cuffs off or what? I want in. In? Whatever you hope to find up there, I want in. <laughs> now, come on, Vargas. The deal was just to get us in and out of here. That's it. Just? I'm sticking my neck up for you gringos. Yeah, and Rafe is paying you a lot of money for your trouble. See? But not nearly enough. You were told not to open that. Yes. I was also told not to take bribes, not to bring anyone here, and not to beat on my inmates. But here we are. Right, just be careful with that. It's 300 years old. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. You know who that is? He was a pirate. The pirate who pulled up the biggest heist in history and got away with it. I looked him up. That's great. Over Can 400 we... million dollars worth of gold and jewels, all from one single ship. Uh, the Gunsway. Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with the story. Can you get to the point? Uh-huh. I occupied the highest cell in the Spaniards' prison. <laughs> Here. I hope someday you will find your way into this infernal place, bear my cross, and discover the riches of paradise. What? What do you want? The riches of paradise. Oh, it's a metaphor. No, 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 no. You and your friends did not pay to get into this infernal place in search of a metaphor. I want in. Right. I'll tell you what. Let me go up there, check out the prison cell. If there's still anything there after 300 years, you can take this up with Rafe. Now, come on. Letter. 
Por favor. How are you gonna get up there, anyways? Climb. Oh, unless, of course, you want to do it, since you want in and all. Just don't break your neck. That's the plan. Hey, did you bring what I asked? Yeah. He did just over there. Under the work table. There we go, piece of cake. Bingo. Now we're in business. All right, this should do the trick. And there's the prison cell. How do I get up there? Here we go! Wait till Sam hears about this. <clears throat> Onward and upward. find the highest cell. At least Burns had a nice view before he was executed. Whoa. Hard to believe there were dozens of pirates holed up in here just waiting to be hanged. Okay. Where to? I can barely believe this place is still standing. Spanish sure knew how to build a sturdy prison. Alright, not gonna lie. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Sam is missing out. Here we go. Burns' his cell. Cell? More like a suite. Okay. Where to begin? Sun and moon. Alchemy symbols for gold and silver. Wait a sec. I saw something like this on the letter. Huh. Well, that's part of the symbol. Ah, there's the other half. Now then. That's more like it. Okay, got a zodiac symbol. Sagittarius and the Scorpio sign. Ten and two, X and II. Watch that first step. Uh, 
Down we go. Huh. Careful. One more time. <laughs> yeah, let's see right for that. Ah, there goes my shoulder. There's Vargas. I want a cut. <laughs> I want in. I'll give you in. What'd you find? Greg? What? Place was picked clean. If there's a clue hidden up there somewhere, I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Oh, maybe I just I missed something in the letter. It could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. There uh, any plans to this place? You know, like blueprints? Uh. Could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery expert. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. Right. When you're done talking to him, come and find me. You got it. Gringo, if I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. Some nice acting, Vargas. Almost as good as mine. What huh? can I say, huh? It's worth the principiante, right? Hijo de puta. Lo siento, chicos. Tengo que irme. Claro, te vas cuando estás ganando. Para ti, eh. Jesus, uh, uh, they worked you over. Good, you all right? Uh, just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. <laughs> no, we were right. No. We just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Don't, don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. You and me. Now this rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? We had some leads. No, we didn't. Okay, not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. After he read the letter. Mm. Hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Yeah, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about I'll, this... I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just... Let's get on to more important matters. All right. Let's find somewhere a little more, uh, private. Yeah. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so, what do we got? Oh, shit. Huh? Hey. May I? Just be careful, okay? Wood with gold and silver inlay. It's well made. <laughs> it's hollow. <laughs> it 
why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... Read the inscription. Uh, Digna factus recipimus. We receive... We receive... We receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. That's the benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's St. Dismas. Yeah. The penitent thief. But what's the connection? Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. <clears throat> okay, uh, during the crucifixion, Jesus is placed between two thieves, okay? One of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. Okay? He accepted his punishment with grace. And Jesus brought him to paradise. Penitent thief. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out? There is a cathedral of St. Dismas in Scotland. Wait, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. That can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> you know, I have my doubts about you, too, but... Let's find Vargas. Get the hell out of this shithole. Oh. <laughs> Let me guess, this is the guy you picked a fight with? Uh, didn't know he had so many... Friends. Te dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, ¿ok? Muy tarde para hablar. Aquí no sales. Hey, you know why? Tú no te metas. Ok. Jesus, did you have to pick on the most popular guy in this job? Oh, I didn't hear you volunteer. Guys, save it for later. What you got, asshole? Free. How you doing, little brother? I'm good. I'm good for now. Remember, jab, jab, strike. Jab, jab, strike. Otra vez, pendejo. Dejo. We're not done here, guys. Let's make this quick so we can get out of here. Sam! Need some help here! Get off! Thanks. I'll mention Basta de hablar. Alguien más necesita que le recuerde las reglas. Alíñense. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Eh? Dame. Are you bringing in contraband? Fergus. Cállate. Who do you think you are? Llévalo a su celda. Trae los gringos a mi oficina. Déjanos. Déjennos. Too long enough. We almost got killed, you know. You still might. Vargas. Seriously? Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Well, how can I say? I was raised Catholic. I always carry one. <laughs> Funny. 
Hey, 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 look. It's worthless, all right? You think I'm an idiot? Okay, you want to renegotiate, fine. Stop acting like a third world thug. Now put the gun away. <laughs> Thank you. We're willing to give you, uh, 10%. <laughs> think half. We're doing most of the work, 20. And you'd never find it without us. 25 equals. 25. Does that sound fair, guys? I suppose I can live with that. Yeah, sure. I mean, 400 million divides nicely by four. Looks like we have a deal. Yes, we have a deal. And if you ever cross me at all. Ah! Jesus. That's that. Are you out of your goddamn mind? You wanna find out? I'm done. Guys, what are we doing here? We're sticking to the plan. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. Come on. Come on! God damn it. Rafe, where are we going here? The lighthouse. Vargas said the boat is right under the lighthouse. But which way? I don't know. We'll get outside and figure it out. Shit! Dead end! Uh... The window! Hurry up! There, it's open! You got it! Then go! I don't see the lighthouse! Right now, let's just get away from the guards. Down this way! Dead end. Come on, Sam. Ready? And let's go. Yeah, after you. Get the roof. Follow me. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Come on. Move it. Seriously? All right. Make the dancing play! Let's clean house! All right, we need to catch up with Ray. Quickly. I thought you trusted him. I do. What point? There's a vent here. Help me push. He's gonna leave without us, isn't he? Not if we're quick. Come on! After you! They're everywhere. Just keep going. Okay, looks clear. God damn it, this place is like a maze. Yeah, it's like they don't want us to leave or something. After this, let's stay out of oh, shit. for a while. Guard! Right? Hola, amigo! Hey, right! Good to see you! Kick down that ladder for us. We're close. There's the lighthouse. Like I said, stick to the plan. Yeah, don't celebrate yet. That's right. Let's keep searching over there. Mind us. There it is. Come on. Now don't drop the cross. All right, keep going. I'm right behind you. Hell. On me! Get to the wall! Now! Sam! Just keep going! Go! I got it. Sam! Come on! I'll pull you up! I got you! Come on! 
Sam. No. No, you hold on. Hold on. Sam. Give me your other arm. Come on, reach. No. Sam. We gotta move. No, no, he's still down there. No, he's gone. Come on, the boat's just beyond the wall. No. No, I can't. I can't. can't leave him behind. Nate! Your brother is dead. Either come with me or join him. Just have it your way. Sam. Oh, God, no. No. I'm coming, I'm coming. I gotta keep coming, right? Pinks from up there? Afraid not. All right. I'll just keep heading downstream. Copy that. Keep me posted. You got it. Hey, I might watch you down to a quarter tank. You want to come up? Nah, nah, I'll be fine. Can't be far. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. All right. found it. All right. How's it look? Uh, it's beat up, but intact. All right. Here we go. <coughs> there. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> Morning, fellas. All right, I'm in. Uh, looks like a lot of it's still strapped down. See, we got one, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. I'm gonna go round them up. Hold on. How about you come up first, get a fresh tank? Ah, the crate's gotta be near. Ha! <laughs> Found one. Ah, crap. The crate's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what, secure the other crate first, then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Uh, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Found the other crate. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. That's one crate secure. Good timing. We're right above you. Sling's on its way down. Coming down. Okay, it's in position. Look up the trailer. We'll raise it up a bit for you. Okay, got the cable. Gonna try looping it around one of the axes. That should work. Yep. Hey, that's one. All right, you watch your oxygen now. That's fine. And that's two. Okay, trailer secure, ready to go. All right. Get clear, we'll lift it up.
Ready when you are. And up we go. Okay. That enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. Okay. We got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. There you go. Oh boy. Well, cargo present and accounted for. And with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> I'd love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. <laughs> Look at that beauty. How you feeling? Oh, better now that I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stink like fish for a week. Hang on. Hang it. What's up, boys? Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. Toss down your gear. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Whoa, this tank's kind of light. I'm just making your job easier, right? Drake, gotta say that wasn't the slowest dive I've ever seen. Done. Man, I wish they move all this to computers. Let's wrap this up later. Hey, how much longer are you gonna be? My hero. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what you brought us. Hey, so how about you let someone else be point man next time? You've earned a break. No, no thanks. Take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's gonna be a while to the next dive. What are you talking about? What about Thursday's job? Mm -mm. Oh, come on, no. Got underbid. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? Good to go. Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Client's paying good money for the full recovery. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, 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 not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right, suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? Yeah. What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin'. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one, he, he's got cold feet. 
My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours? You get the permits? No, he did not get the no. permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me, I'm okay? not gonna change my mind. Well, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. really did your homework on this one. Narrowed down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. Climbed your big brother some years back. Yee, one of the stranger things I've collected along the years. A Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Look at us. Shambhala. <laughs> Miss you, pal. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. <laughs> Not really my style anymore. Now this was a crazy ride. Lifetime, Chloe. Yeah! Here they come. Take cover. I'm surrounded. Bullseye. <laughs> Take that. Well, that's that. Nah, I'll clean it up next time. Well, uh, playtime's over. You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. There we go. Oh. 
<laughs> Done. Okay. Oh. Finish it? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. Looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh... I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear Lord. So, so it, it, boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but... I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle they're taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane. So it kind of took this U-turn and became this elegy about a city where you can see mountains from the street. Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> oh, really? On. What? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Mm-hmm. Flights in Bangkok that um, are... We're having troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. Wow. All right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't but seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, you did on. them last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me um, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Okay, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning, all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera, got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! Yeah, and press X to jump. Got it. You'll want to jump over all the pits and the obstacles. Psh, come on, that's like my thing. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Use your spin attack. 
Which button? Circle spin attack. Nice. Right? What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot, and that's just, it's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> That was, that was not too bad. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh. oh you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? Really, you're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, easy just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real life? What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. We're not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, Everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back... You would have come back. I know, Nathan, I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you still with me? I need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey, have a seat. I wanna hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. They tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <sighs> These were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Okay, um, 
a few years back, I got roped into uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? What is uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kubla Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, it was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I've managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring, the... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring a bell with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? Funny story, but um, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Well, you're not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards, they're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. No. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time, which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmento aquí. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan, Fantastic. How long have you had this planned? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Pedazo de mierda. Nunca saldrás de aquí. Silencio. Shit. 
Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. You remember how to use it? Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran Toros Las Puertas. Hector. You do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Stay close, Sam. It's working. Yeah, I see. So now what? Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. <laughs> you were right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Muy bien. ¿Y este gringo? El gringo está conmigo. Manténgalo vivo. ¡Te tengo, gringo! ¡Qué pasa, lo Almost. Samuel! Samuel, take cover! Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Stay back!
Las camionetas están en camino. ¡No se paren! ¡No nos pueden detener! ¡Tras! for Samuel Drake. Huh? Mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I think a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long? What do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh... I don't know. I mean, I uh, get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? It's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But... Listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very okay, solid... Got Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, 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 hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. Look, I can, I can get it. Okay, I, I just need some time. Dame un cuchillo. You see, the problem is. I'm having all of these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. <coughs> How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months have the treasure. Now, if you run or try to hide the treasure or do something really stupid like go to the authorities, I'll know. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. <laughs> Come on. Now, the nearest town is 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it, then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. Buena suerte, Samuel. Alcazar lets me go, and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off, and... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. 
Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. Mm -hmm. So whatever was missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi Estate? Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And uh, where are you going to get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um, I don't know, like, uh... Jeez. Anybody, Charlie Cutter. No. You no, know, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got on that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Hey. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I know, I know, but, uh, looks like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. Can you see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. And it would be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam, we could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There.
See? Trust. <laughs> Just try to keep your tux clean. Thanks. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you know, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Ah, uh, well. You now the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, so this, this yeah. isn't your first time here? No, it's more like uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan. Well, yeah. OK. And there's no way up under that bridge. Whew. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> uh, see, it's, uh, it's all... Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second <gasps> attempt. <laughs> you see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. Respira attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lì sta. Ehi, hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra, traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need him. You're right. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. That should hold. Come on down. <laughs> These landings are a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <clears throat> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. And sure would. <clears throat> but I don't miss.
Thanks. Uh, Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. You remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. These fine pottery and statue once belonged to the National Museum of Iraq. The Take a look. Third century BC, it is believed to depict an archer. That's Avery's cross. We they brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. We have well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the gods see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? Anyone else? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. Yeah, that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. Next, we have an icon How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Uh -huh. That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the break room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to going vegan. Really? <laughs> you kidding me? Hell no. I refuse to be. Upon return, I begin the bidding on several items in the estate of Sir Nicholas Stock. In the meantime, our garden is open. You see, I thought I had... So it's just through there. Let's go. Here's the thing. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Hell, it's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Well, now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. Simple lift. All right. Oh, really? 
real smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker, even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch on the rocks. Be right back. Nate, did you catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. <laughs> it's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. <laughs> Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. What the hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. <clears throat> Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. There you go. I see some fence up there. Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. This way. Hey, look the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. 
No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding a lighter. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Waiters. That ball looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. here. Curano tutta questa Guards. roba. Sono pezzi rubati ai ricettatori. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. You see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever, listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, that must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that, find a window, drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilian, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? These pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? <laughs> no, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. No. <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? <laughs> Sully? <laughs> Great. you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like 
dead, Art? Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! Who the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> Just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. body. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? Damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. God, why did I pick the power room? Speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here. And as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. 
With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah? Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. And for a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Nope. Now the bid has reached 130,000. Nothing. Damn we are it. now at 140. It's gotta be something. Come You're on. Man, all the way start to start to bullets here. Yeah, euros. give me a sec. The bidding starts yes. at 160,000 euros in the room. Signore's bid takes 170,000. <laughs> Gotcha. We are now at 150,000 euros in the room. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's speed, 190,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The back of power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey! Stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak... Sparisci. Fine. Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You wanna say hi? Yeah, we've really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Se la merce lascia la proprietà ci rimettiamo il culo. Ehi, hey, bastardo! Spera solo di piccarti subito una pallotta là in testa! Oh. Ho visto qualcosa che si muoveva vicino alla torre! Devi farlo sapere a tutti, cazzo! Tieni gli occhi aperti! I'm lost! The hell? Nathan, what is going on? I'm being shot at. Hold your guns. I know. Merda. Gotta climb and get a good vantage point. Non ce la faranno. Li troveremo e li riempiremo di buchi. Ma sappiamo cosa fare. Resta concentrato. D'accordo. How are we 
doing, Nathan? I'm on my way. Heading to higher ground to get my bearings. All right, see you soon. Yeah. Okay, everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. I'm just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Oh, scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want. And you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? <coughs> All right, fine. Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> nice try. I gave you that one. Food. <laughs> me the artifact. All right, look. I have this nice astrolabe back home, slightly used. I'll give it to you for a fair price. <laughs> I have a better idea. God. All right, look. I'm still a little jet-lagged. How about we just call it even? <laughs> Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? Okay, come clean. You're no chiropractor. Your technique is really not helping my back. All right, wait, wait. It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> 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 just met your friend, Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. Te lo juro. Ho visto qualcuno che usciva dalla finestra della biblioteca. L'ho sentito. Sono i tetti. Lassù, su un segno! What are you doing? What's it look like? Oh shit! Nathan! Catch! Wait, what? Oh crap. Hey, I got it! Merda. Nice shooting! You all right? Yeah, hanging in there. <laughs> I can't get to you from here. You got a way down? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. All right, see you there. <clears throat> Victor, I'll 
kind of stuck here. Any ideas? It's the fastest way is through the ballroom. You said the ballroom's locked out. Yeah, well, now that they know it's you guys, they cleared the place out. That right, ballroom it is. You get that, Nathan? Yeah, got it. Sei finito. Ma che... Almost to the ballroom. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. Hmm? I've seen something. Huh? Oh yeah, me too. Alright boys, change of plan. Too many people trying to leave, the driveway's all jammed up. Shit, put that back up. There's that fountain just outside the ballroom. I'll meet you there. Got it, let's go. for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? 
Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right. Skull and crossbones. Very good, sir. It's Avery's insignia. What is this? Uh, Hodie mecum eris in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to St. Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? Some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the uh, year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but that means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise, which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. <sighs> Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Hey guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming? Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. Well, come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. Nathan, he's right. Things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and I can I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey, hey, it's me. Yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, um, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy, all those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you, but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Well, Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kids. Happy hunting. Nice chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right. See you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah? Just, uh... Ah, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? Scottish Cathedral. Strange place to bury your treasure, no? Not really. 
Well, by the time Avery sailed here, the place was already abandoned. I guess that's true. Plus, with the massive bounty on his head, it'd be a good place to hide. So, uh, what happened between you and Rafe? Nah, I couldn't deal with him. I'm pretty sure he'd had enough of me. I was still coming to grips with your, uh, death and with his frustration from not finding the treasure. It, I'm pretty sure he was ready to kill me by the time I bailed. <laughs> Imagine what he want to do to you now. Hey, this should hold. Good call. all this? It's excavation equipment. Shoreline? What? Look. I thought they were just by the cathedral. Oh, oh, shit. Get out! <laughs> <You're done. laughs> Get him. Nice shot. Okay, we're good. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Shoreline. Seems like they were expecting us. Eh, yeah, like they're searching away from the cathedral. Which means we should get to that graveyard pronto. Exactly. Why didn't you guys search beyond the cathedral? Oh, we did, a little. But this place is so big, without knowing where to look, it's like shooting in the dark. More like blowing shit up in the dark. What is this place? The monks had several living quarters. Main one being by the graveyard, of course. Now what do you bet? Hey! Dynamite! Just be careful with that stuff. Hey, got the door open. That was very loud. Hopefully they didn't hear us. Uh, hopefully we just blend in with the other explosions. There you go. Take that door. Well, I've blown a lot of shit up over the years. What's the, uh, plan with the crate? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> shit! Shoreline! Hide! Where's our boys? Keep your safeties off. I think it was those guys Nadine warned us about. You died in my boy! Damn it, they see us! I'm trying, little brother.
Nicely done. That could have been bad. Yeah. Let's get out of here before anyone checks in on them. There. Come on, let's go. Got it. Oh, careful. I can hook that. There. Whew. All right, you think you can do that? talking about I taught you that move all right let's see it then there. you see that's clumsy <laughs> Sam, there's a ladder just out of reach. Hey, right, hold up. I'll come over. All right. Give me a boost. Pull you up. There you go. Thanks. All right, there it is. The mug storm. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Uh, don't jinx us. Down we go. Burns a little. Those are fun. I could do this all day. Paying us Shh. double to wipe them out. You go where the money leads you. That's cold. It gets colder. I'm gonna take a leak while you educate our young recruit you. What's happening next? Did he put down the revolt? With our nice help, one. he kept it at bay. But once money ran out, well, there's no reason for us to stick around anymore. And the general? You They're get the left one. Tonight. I got right. <laughs> Cold bastard. <laughs> Gotta have to do better than that, fellas. Now let's see if we can keep this up. You two done prepping the site? Cemetery is ready for rich boys' visit. Bad guy over there. Down, are they? What do you want the result? Did you want them yesterday? Have they found any? Heard they uncovered some stuff. What the? Oh. 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 Someone was bound to Where'd hear all go? that. Come Shit, on, let's get a move on.
That was kind of hairy. Someone was bound to hear all that. Come on, let's get a move on. Down we go. We need to reach our own gate. Easy, girl. I nearly blew my goddamn arms off only to get chewed up. Wait. Hey, get here, hey! All right, let's keep going. Dead view. <laughs> Sam, this way. Nice. <laughs> Bungee jumping. Have you ever been bungee jumping? No, but I'm sure this is better. So, this is what you've been up to all these years? Jumping around in ruins? Yeah, that and getting shot at. Blown up, punched, kicked. All right, all right, I get it. Knife, drug. <laughs> That's that. Uh, not quite. Still gotta climb high across the ravine. I hope we're done sliding for a while. My ass is full of gravel. We are. Welcome to the St. Dismas Dormitory, alleged final resting place of one Henry Avery. <laughs> Let's find that grave. It's like the scroll from the cross. The dates aren't right. Well, one down and a hell of a lot to go. Okay. Cross cutlasses, skull and crossbones, and the date 1659 to 1699. We find a tombstone with all three, and we're in business. Well, let's. Yeah, well, swords are a match. So is the year. Sam, come here. Where'd you find it? <sighs> Benjamin Bridgman. That's Avery's alias. <laughs> Something odd about this skull, though. It's like it doesn't belong to the stone. Really? What's odd about it is that's not Avery's sigil. Huh. Yeah, I mean, the skull should be facing... Sideways. Sideways. What is that? My God. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, I've been ready for a long time. Let's see what we got. It's a 
crypt. A crypt hidden behind a secret door? I assume the secret door was added afterwards. <laughs> to hide his loot. Well, fingers crossed. Whoa. Oh, gang's all here. Is this a door? Looks like a door. I don't see a way to open it, though. But what are these star symbols? Jesus. Dismiss on the left. Penitent thief. Guest is on the right. Jerk thief. <laughs> Avery sure had a thing for St. Dismas, huh? Well, Avery fancied himself a good thief, right? Only plundered and murdered the non-British evenings. <laughs> Guess that's what passed for good back then. <laughs> Could have. Some kind of lamp. Hey, Smokey. Need your lighter over here. You know, that hurts my feelings. Not as much as it hurts your lungs. <laughs> Thank you, Father Duffy. Isn't that something? <laughs> the light's coming from the other side of the wall. All right, let's see here. Ah, uh, I can aim the lights. Hey, here we go. I think you got that one. Oh, connect the dots. That looks right. <laughs> Nathan, that's it, you got it. Okay, let's give this a shot. <laughs> Bane Sesame. Wrong treasure. Shush. <laughs> well, nice view. No treasure, though. No, but... Look, you see those crosses? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, is that a cave? Right below? Yeah, I think Avery's trying to tell us where to go next. There's one problem, though. Going back that way means we have to go back toward the cathedral. And back towards Rafe. Shit. Well, let's not keep him
no, no, no! Okay, I think we're clear. Well, that could have gone better. Yeah, well, we're still breathing. That's good enough. Let's just get that gate open. Yeah. Are you holding up? <laughs> Great. I was kind of hoping to find the treasure back there, but not that easy, right? That's been my experience. Plus, there was a cool constellation thing. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pretty spectacular. Right under that high cross. That's where Avery wants us. Well, what Avery wants, Avery gets. Kid, what's your status? Hey, Sully. We're on the trail, but the uh, treasure's closer to the cathedral than we originally thought. Oh, uh, boy. So what do you need me to do? Uh, just keep those engines warm. We'll be back before too long. You got it. Keep me posted. Will do. You know what? Forget it. Why'd you bring it up then? I said forget it. Whatever. I guess there's no getting away from these guys. Yeah, and there'll only be more as we get closer to the cathedral. Here we go. Come on, I'll boost you up there. All right. <clears throat> Too high to reach you. Yeah, hang on a sec. Hanging. Let's see what's by that wooden structure over there. Hey, I got something. Yep, we go. Christ, this thing's heavy. What exactly are you doing? Giving you a way up. That'll support even your weight. Ah. Thank you. Hey, you don't think the monks built this? No way. It's some kind of pulley system. Uh, to lift a whole bunch of treasure? <clears throat> to lift something. I can't believe I missed this. <clears throat> hey, we can climb this! <clears throat> On my way. Holy shit! 
coming! Hope this holds. Oh! This is a good idea! Breaking things, especially cliffs. Tell me about it. Hey, hey, you okay? Yeah. Like I was just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hold on. I'll, I'll see if there's a. Oh shit! Sam! I guess it runs in the family, huh? Maybe so. Can't get to you from here. Oh, you got it. I can't feel my hands. I think my blood thinned out or something after all those years of Panama. Yeah, well, don't worry. The worst case, you lose a couple fingers. Hold on. I'll help. There you go. Where would you be without me, huh? Uh, probably at home. Drinking hot cocoa? What are you, five? Oh, tell me you wouldn't go for some hot cocoa right now. Well, I mean, yeah. Exactly. Here we go. Unlike you reptiles, I'm a warm-blooded creature. What the? Spotted something. Go make sure it's nothing. Roger that. How's it? You got anything? Nothing. We are okay. Yeah, I might be calling in reinforcements. Come on. Hey, Sam, help me with this. Uh, oh, what if it's the only thing holding the tunnel up? Then I'll apologize. All right. No! There, see? No problem. Yeah, for what? Oh, my crap. They're following us down here. We need to hurry. Those things look sturdy to you. Sturdy enough. Oh, crap! Remember, extra careful. Thanks. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Up. How's it looking? 
we're about to head into the cave. The cave? Yeah, might lose contact for a bit. Don't get too worried. All right, I'll keep the porch light on for you. All right, call you soon. <laughs> we made it. It's quite the deep. Let's go see what Avery left for us. Yes, please. Those shoreline assholes were right next to this cave. Yeah, but I think we're the first ones in here. Come on. Through here. Glad I didn't eat a big breakfast. Creepy St. Dismas statues? Check. Carved stairs? Check. Nathan, I think it's safe to say we're in a pirate cave. Come here. Check this out. Slimy. There's a handle in here or something. Well, give it a give it a pull. What? Could be a trap. You're already in there. What's the what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I lose my hand. So we'll get you a nice hook. Give it a pull. <sighs> nice hook. All right, here we go. Really? Hello, hello. It's pretty interesting decor. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. To those who prove false, behold your grim fate. Yeah, well, I guess Avery was a better pirate than a poet. This... this isn't Avery's. What do you mean? Look. It's the Rhode Island Pirate. Thomas too. Yeah, but it can't be him. I mean, this is clearly his sigil, but two died attacking the same treasure fleet as Avery. Yeah, well, at least that's what the stories tell us. If this really is two's mark, then that means he's involved in all of this how? That's a damn good question. Bridge looks about as safe as others. It's okay, it's holding. Come on. These bridges are clearly not the code. There they are. Pirate code. We're not going back that way. Uh, at least we didn't get dropped in a pit or something. Found another. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the hand out. Whoa. Jesus. It's a pretty elaborate test. Or trial? Yeah. And this guy clearly failed. Then let's do better. There's something on the bottom there. It's a bucket. Huh. Okay. Now what? Bucket filled. All right, pass it up to me. Put it back in that big wheel thingy. See what these wheels do. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Something with the three crosses? 
Yeah. I'm guessing we're looking at Jesus, our good thief Dismas, and the jerk thief Gestus. Uh, I figure the white cross is Dismas, so the black one is Gestus. Check it out. Something up there moved when you put the bucket on top. There's a channel running from the mechanism to the door. Okay, so bucket on top is good. Keep it there. Nathan, look. I think you got it. <laughs> All right, see? No shishkinates, no naked kebabs today. So, if that was a test, what do you suppose it was testing exactly? Filling the bucket? I had to know about St. Dismas, whom I bet Avery and all of his crew were intimately familiar with. It's not that hard of a test. Maybe it's not the only one. Hey, come here. I'll boost you up there. Coming. Okay. I'm guessing we need to get up to that broken bridge. Good guess. Let's look for a way up. They're not making this easy, are they? I imagine it was easier when all the bridges and walkways weren't broken. <laughs> I guess we're a couple hundred years late. Let's see what's in here. There's a low ceiling here. Watch it. Ow! Watch my ah? Can it? I see some light through here. Anything noteworthy by the dormitories? Not unless you count some cleverly worded headstones. Have you finished digging by the chapter house? We have, ma'am. The northwest sites are wide open as well. And what about the southern perimeter? Not yet. It'll take us a day to move the crane over there. Nadine. Make it happen. In the meantime, see what you can dig up without it. I'll send a couple of men over right away. Good. Rafe, any luck with those manuscripts? Can we have a minute? Keep me updated. Yes, ma'am. Did you hear? They found a whole annexed area under the cathedral. I did. Have you seen it? No. Why? Because there wasn't much left after they'd finished finding it. My men have been a bit liberal with They're the dynamite. like a hundred well-armed bulls in a china shop. But they've made more progress in two days than we've made in months. Progress. I can't analyze rubble. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll let them know they need to give you a heads up before they do anything drastic. Or you can tell them to sit tight until I analyze the few clues that haven't been blown up. No, we can't sit around waiting any longer. All due respect, I think I have a bit more experience with this sort of thing than you do. We tried things your way. 
Bullshit. You've been wanting to level this place ever since we got here. No! I wanted to steal that cross long before it ever even made it to that auction. The same auction where I couldn't have my men around to deal with any surprises. The auction was the cleanest way but to get the cross. But instead of going with my gut, I listened to you. And now we have competition. Oh, well, I didn't think he'd show up. Or maybe you wanted to draw him out. <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? Because you think you need him. And maybe you do. Point is, I'm done trying to do things the clean way. If the treasure is here, we'll find it. And if not, well... Maybe it's time to move on, huh? Hey. It's not personal. Of course. I'll let you know if anything turns up. Get moving before they blow that treasure to bits. Oh, it's not making out. <laughs> hey, wait. You think she was right, though? About what? About Rafe wanting to draw you out. As long as he doesn't get the upper hand, who cares? Doesn't matter. <laughs> what annexed area do you suppose they were talking about? It's got to be some side chamber because we're the only ones here. Hang on. Oh, look at you. One crate coming up. I thank you, good sir. Definitely getting closer to the cathedral. Gotta say, this is far more sophisticated than I was expecting. <laughs> Me too. Must have taken you years to build. Here goes nothing. Good thing you're not heavier than the crate. Okay. We can hook our ropes onto this. That'll work. Needs bridges. I don't know. I I wouldn't mind bridges per se. Well, can't go through there. So how do we get through? Over here. Yeah, look at that. If this place wasn't completely falling apart. We'd probably be trapped again. Hey, can look around you. Holy crap! This must have been another test, but it all just crumbled into the ocean. I guess the test now is... How the hell do we get to the other side? That really safe... Take the night and stop. You won't make it. You're too low. Come on back to this side. I'll weigh it down. Made it! All right! Uh, now, uh, what about me? Check out all that machinery. You know, it really makes you appreciate everything that goes into making these dead traps. Seem. 
Any luck? Okay, found something to weigh down the seesaw. Excellent. You sure that'll work? Heavier than I am. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Hey, nice air tunnel. Oh, crap. I got you. There, thanks. There's another test down. Yeah, at this point, I'd rather take another death trap. At this point, I hope we're at the end of this thing. Okay, getting a bit dramatic with the statues here. Seriously, why decorate a treasure burial site? Ugh. I'll never get used to this. It's another cross. <laughs> At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? <laughs> Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Agreed. Yeah. Or lack thereof. Okay. So... It's... It's gotta be the coins. Yeah. Are we sure about this? Oh, pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. Right, just... Just one now. Agreed. I got it. Please don't be a trap. Whoa. <laughs> you recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look. Star right here. King's Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with this. What are you talking about? Avery, he's screwing with this. This was supposed to be it, so where's the goddamn treasure, huh? I mean, King's Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, Paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, crap. You gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have you from last time. Uh, throw me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, they were here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot them yet. <sighs> Not want to hurry then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh, where in Kings Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but there's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. Well, you want to leave it to Rafe? You're going to be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to... Crossed it. You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it!
Running! That's my chance! Come on, come on! You like that? Stay down. Shit! you! What's the plan? I'm working on it. You ready? We gotta go up to get out! Go. No, 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 no. That works. Hey, stand. the hornet's nest, didn't we? Yeah, we kicked it, punched it, and set it on fire. <laughs> oh, no, you oh, don't. Shit. <laughs> Going somewhere? Oh no, 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 no! Long story. Short version is get us the hell out of here. Yeah, figure. <clears throat> Hold tight. Be there as soon as I can. Oh shit, Sam Sniper! Find cover! Shot, Nathan! Up there! More of them!
Don't stop. Is this how it always is for you? No. Just kind of. Yeah. Try, little brother. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Ah. Saying the weather is lovely this time of year, I can't see shit. Just keep heading down until we hit the water. This one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, Nate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. You think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? I, just think about this. Thomas, too, was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the guns way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves, the recruits, what's the one thing they would have left with?
there's a volcano on this. And there's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. We see some ruins up ahead. Okay, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest format. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Oh, this looks oh, uh, promising. <laughs> hey, Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Ah, thought this thing was all terrain. You gotta gun it before you hit the hill. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. I'm getting nowhere fast. Slip and slide. <laughs> you need traction here. Get the hang of this. No, there turn into it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. 
Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Oh, shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Let's not get stuck here. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. That ought to do it. Whoa, whoa. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, yeah. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirate. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey. You're describing sailing to a former squid. Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Hey, that's what I found. Got this son of a bitch. 
So I'm heading back way. Can't hide forever. <coughs> what the hell, man? Did you see them? No, nothing. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. <laughs> Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Don't spin out now. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rate? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Staying the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searched. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> oh, hey! Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, huh? You... Hey, is that a well? Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah, so... You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He'd uh, check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Uh, ah, hell. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. <clears throat> Sorry, bump. Sam, you were saying? No, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway. Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such <clears throat> as pirate treasure? Maybe. <clears throat> Gotta go check out that drawbridge. Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. The name of the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the drawbridge crank. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. Hey, guys! There's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. The biggest one yet. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I see it. I'll bring the car closer.
Oh, you two just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? Keep up the good work, kid. that bridge down. There we go. Tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, we ain't got no auto club out here, Nathan. I'm not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. <clears throat> right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. <clears throat> well, you should have told him it was 200 pounds. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I was exactly expecting to be part of it. <clears throat> All set. 
Here we go. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> uh -oh. share on this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. <laughs> Come on, you guys are overreacting. The whole thing under control. Hold on to something. <laughs> ah. Ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. <laughs> Get in that way. <laughs> Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh. There's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Uh, heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! He's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's uh. Um... That's Adam Baldridge. That's uh, Joseph Farrow, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh, let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe, maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, <coughs> whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this.
trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Fire in the hole! Get down! I got the drop on him! Oh, shit! It's an ambush! I'll go around! Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Uh, but still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly, so if we wanna have a chance to catch them, then we've gotta split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. Oh, excuse me. Oh, 
Combien? Apples. Why my friends? Apples. No. Only 1500 Ari. Oh man, something smells really good. Oh, watch it. Hey Sully, I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. Jesus, wrong way down. You okay back there? You keep your pace, I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? Okay, let's see what we got. That's right in the middle of the city. Might make getting the treasure out of it, Ricky. One thing at a time. Let's just not draw this undue attention to ourselves. This is a very ourselves. tall clock tower. Yes. Yes, it is. Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, boy. I'll be damned. Check it out, Sully. The clock still works. Yeah, I noticed. Try not to get tangled in those gears up there. You bet. Fingers, Nate. Should I be nervous? No, good. Trust me. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> Let did the trick. 
Scorpio lock just released. Okay, moving on to the next one. Aquarius? Always nice people. Fun. Change the time here. Wow. This is a nice view. No, 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 no. Doing okay out there, Sam. Okay, 
Sully, I made it! This is gonna be loud! Sully, heads up! Sorry! Handle broke! I'm gonna have to ring it myself. Ah, here we go. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? All right. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my towel, I, I got nothing. Yeah? Well, no. we're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way? Whoa. Okay. Should we go look? Yeah, d just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condent. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Wow, that mustache. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, hey, you're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm. That's, um, 
They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Want, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, globe. This Want guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. There. Honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. Don't I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. You know, because he likes to feel useful, that's all. Aha, uh -huh. of course. Shit. What happened here? A uh, torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. Hmm. That's one. Sam texted me back. Ah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Found the stars, but who are you? Huh. Yazid al-Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, aren't the muggles the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. Yeah, like that's ever the case. Not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know, that kind of looks on. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. 
So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Prodeus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. It's been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old times' sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quo licentia, forgotten liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so. Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. All right, you gotta find some place to hide. Oh, Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey! Buy a new one. Sam's Tower. Oh, it's definitely Sam's Tower. Come on. This way. Uh, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How long you think before Rafe gets here? <laughs> Let's not stick around to find out. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Come on, down here, Nate. Thanks, watch out! Shit! Everyone out of the way!
Having fun yet? Oh, real blast. <gasps> Shit, mate! 
way he could have survived that. Right chance it. That's not good. Holy shit, he's still alive! Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here.
All right, I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Prodeus Cordesentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. I mean, it's their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe we missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found Libertalia. <laughs> Liber... Liber what are you? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this commie pirate sanctuary? Right here. That island, just northeast of Kings Bay. <laughs> Hey, Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I, I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's going to sound crazy. Try me. Well, for starters, um, this is uh, Sam. Sam Drake, my brother. Hi. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail, but I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever a Malaysia job? I... Come on, come on, wait. Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what, enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know, just say it. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. How would you react? You lied to me. For weeks. If you were killed, I... I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Oh, come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. Oh my God. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We, we 
Put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. Okay, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertalia. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to handle... Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. You need a hand? I got it. Let's go pack your bags. Nathan? Yeah. Land ho. What do you think about that, huh? That's pretty cool. Take the wheel for a second. All this running around, surviving by the skin of our teeth. I think we've actually taken a moment. Step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Huh? Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna? Yeah. Listen, little brother. She will get over it. I mean, we bring back a treasure like that, anyone would. I don't know. Maybe I've uh, done this one too many times. Huh. Somehow I imagined it bigger. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the right place. Find us a spot to set ashore. Well, I mean, at least there's an island, right? <laughs> yeah, at least there's an island. Just keep an eye out for anything man made. Ah, you mean pirate made? <laughs> sure. So, maybe Libertalia is more of a small beachside shack. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a tree house. <laughs> or maybe Avery spent his entire fortune setting up this treasure hunt and ran out of money to actually build Libertalia. Nathan, up there. Well, that definitely qualifies as man made. Uh uh. Pirate made. Find a way up to that tower. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like an old lookout tower. Well, let's see if we can spot something from up there. Okay, up we go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Sam, this way. This looks promising. Some kind of symbol. Looks like a compass arrow. <laughs> How did you know to do that? Well, oh, there's one thing I've learned from you. Press everything. <laughs> Look down there. It's the same symbol. Another arrow. Let's go find out where it's pointing, huh? Come on. Boat's right below us. Yep. Follow these arrows, see where they go. Jesus, Nathan, watch it. Looks like that one's pointing to that cave over there. Mm, giant gate. Good sign. Here we go. You gotta admit, this is pretty cool. What? Climbing this cliff? Yes! Climbing this cliff on a giant secret pirate island? I mean, come on. <laughs> right. All right. We're back in business. Okay, hold on. Just better not fall to my death over here. Oh, oh. Wow, Avery wasn't much for subtlety or understatement, was he? Well, he had the money. You've got it, flown it, right? Come on, let's get a closer look. Sam, come on, give me a hand with this. Yeah, sure. Go. Okay, come on through. Yeah, sure thing. Jeez. There's lots of lifting and crawling under things, huh? The glamorous life of a treasure hunter. You suppose this place was these arches remind me of the Saint Dismas Cathedral, but uh, I don't know. Oh, rope bridge up there. Come on. <clears throat> See what you can find up there. You got it. Well, there's a path, but I don't see another way up yet. So, hold on.
Sam! You okay? At least I'm on the other side. Okay. Uh, still need to get you up here. Hang tight. Sam! Anything? Sam, hey! You still there? God damn it. You're already up here? Where were you? Finding a way to get you up here. All right, just jump across then. Thanks. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Let's keep going. Okay. There's a path down here. Great, right behind you. Sam, in here. Got it. All right, looks like we're still on the right track. How the hell did no one find this? Okay. Piece of cake. There we go. Crap. The mechanism's busted or something. No, oh, no, 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 no. One way or another, we're getting in there. Let's just lift it together. All right? Okay. Just think about all that treasure. Yeah, mostly just thinking about my back. <sighs> Shit. Whoa. That looks like we got ourselves another trial. That sure looks like it. Turn the symbols. That'll help. There we go. What is that? Oh, look. Statues. Pirate captains. There's Bonnie uh, Baldridge, Paul Basra. I can't remember that guy's name. So who was this Al Basra character? Uh, he was a muggle, one of the soldiers on the gun. What's he doing teaming up with Avery? Stories have it he was taken to be executed. He got freed during the battle and blew up the gun's way. Gun. Oh, so grateful Avery brought him along? 
Exactly. What about that other guy? He started as a nobody? Here's some sort. Both symbols at once. Constantly rotating. Jeez. Bin Malik guy. Looks Moorish. Uh, yeah, that he is. What's he doing so far from the Barbary Coast? Same as us. I'm gonna where the action is. <laughs> I think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and the last of our crew. Richard Watt, Edward England, and Thomas too. Sam, look, that's where we're going. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's only 11 pirates. We're missing our star pirate. Uh-huh. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> okay, where to now? Missing Avery statue. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that our friend was a bit of a narcissist. You think? <laughs> yeah. Let's go see what he's got in store for us. Oh, that's uh, that's a long way down. So, Nathan, and be honest with me, how does this stack up? You know, compared to your other adventures. Ask me again when we finish. Don't snap, don't snap, don't snap! <laughs> Didn't snap. Sweet. Boat's down there. After you, Captain. Okay, island with monstrous Avery statue is to the right. I'm so excited, my hand, my hands are literally shaking. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's either that or I just, you know, I need another cigarette. Maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> Looks like he's got a spyglass, but he's not really looking for it. Maybe he wants us to look through it. Treasure Island, eat your heart out. Hey, come on. Sam. Oh, no, no, no. Well, you do the honors. I insist, come on. Okay. How are you? All right, Captain. What are we looking at? There. So, 
big skull-shaped island? What? A big island. No skull. That's gotta be it. The battalion. <laughs> That's optimistic considering everything. You know, it is just us here. You're allowed to feel just a little bit of excitement over this. Well, I'll get excited when we get Alcazar's noose off your neck. Come on. <laughs> okay. What? I said okay. No, 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 no. Your okays are never just okay. It usually means the opposite of okay. Boy Rafe? Who the hell else? Damn it! Sam! Supply box. Oh, for God's sake. Of course. Everything's gone. Maybe that's a good sign to be saved, too. Well, the bright side can't lose anything else besides my life. I'm talking to myself, that's, that's the first sign of. Crazy. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Oh, shit. Just push through. Just push through it. No, no, come on. What the hell with this place? Damn it.
Stay put, Sam. I'm coming to you. we go. your back, Sam. That should hold. Let's hope. Expect. Whoa. Huh. Where to now? Jesus.
try to climb up there? In those boots? Sure, you don't need this. Yeah, it's working. Almost there. Something maybe. Movement along the tree line. Well, that's thick jungle over there, eh? It's all moving. I don't see anything. <laughs> all right, everyone. False alarm. But keep an eye. Hmm? No way I imagined that. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. So which one of them did they spot? The older brother. He shot a couple of our men. Hmm? What the? What the? Shit. Here we go. I lost him. I nearly shot your head off. Sam, oh, you're okay. Yeah, nothing I can't walk away from. <laughs> it's good to see you're alive, little brother. Come on, we got a treasure to find. Hold up, man, I mean, <laughs> what are we doing? What do you mean? I mean, our supplies are at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we go steal some from Nadine's army. Yeah, and there's that. We're going up against an army. We've been holding our own so far. While being marooned in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to get here, remember? When we had an escape plan. <laughs> Just hear me out. Crazy suggestion. Let's go down there and at least secure one of Rafe's boats. The boats can wait. <laughs> you want to know what we're doing here? We are buying my life back. Okay, and we're going to do that by stepping into that jungle and finding the Britallium. Have you? even seen any signs of a massive pirate colony. Because I sure the hell haven't. It's a little late to start developing doubts, don't you think? Look, can we at least acknowledge the chance that maybe Avery's idea for a secret pirate utopia didn't pan out? <laughs> and maybe we're just swept up in this fantasy. 
when instead we should be looking for a real way to save you. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch if I have to until I find that treasure. Now, if you're confused about what you're doing here, then you can go home, Nathan. Wait, 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 I can go home? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what I put on the line to get you here? How about what I put on the line? Okay, the last 15 years of my this life. This has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with that. What? Holy crap. <laughs> you still wanna go home? Let's just see what else we can find. Well, I'll be damned. A good start. Yeah, let's just hope the rest of it isn't buried under centuries of dirt and rock. Guys, have with you, please. Sam, up here. I'm coming. Well, no one's home. This place has seen better days, huh? Yeah, the roof could use some work. Sam, this way. Okay, I'm through. It's this way. Oh, all this crawl is a good workout for my quads. Look at this place. This is no straw hut. Yep, some honest to God masonry in here. Well, where do those masons come from? I mean, your average ship might have some good carpenters among them and coopers, but. Not Masons. Ugh, feels good to stretch out again. Yeah, you said it. There's a crate. I got an idea. Here we go. Heads up! All right, we're in business. <laughs> See this? Houses, White Street. Clearly a commercial district of some kind. Yes, thank you for that, Nathan. Come on. What do you see? You just want to hear me say it, don't you? Really want to hear you say it. All right. Libertalia. <laughs> Libertalia! The long lost legendary pirate utopia discovered after 300 years by one Samuel Drake. And? And, and his. Younger, slightly less charming brother who happened to be tagging along for the right. You know, I always knew you'd make something of yourself one day. Yeah, just so you know, it's not my first lost city. You should, should, should just enjoy the moment. So, where you want to start? How about that building right over there? Oh, you mean the one with the massive guard tower? Yeah. I say we go see what it was guarding. Works for me. This is... I mean... I'm speechless. Oh, holy goddamn shit, Nathan! <laughs> That's your idea of speechless? God, how long do you think it took them to build this place? Years. Decades, even. How the hell did they keep it a secret all that time? Hey, 
Hey, looks like there's a path or something through there. Captain Avery, wondering when you'd turn up. Guess even a pirate utopia needs a place to lock up riffraff. <laughs> Can you imagine who pirates put in prison? That's a little hypocritical, don't you think? Pirates having a jail? Well, I guess every group has its assholes. This way, follow me. There's a tunnel through there. Hey, Sam, come here. This looks promising. Right by. Me. Looks like a hideout of some kind. Yeah, but who'd they be hiding out from? Themselves? That's our way out of here. I see some light down below. Holy shit. Hey! Uh... I found more of the colony. There's more buildings this way. There was a whole city, man. Shh, shh. Look. Oh, hell. Shh, Hang on. Movement over there. Might be out of it. How's it going? Crap, more shoreliners! I'm gonna find you! I don't see them! Hey! <coughs> Got a bad feeling here. Yeah. Hmm? What? Hey! Target spotted! Oh, damn! <coughs> You 
See any more? Or are we clear? I think we're clear. You all right? Yeah. Just a little winded. Nathan, there's some more friends up ahead. Aina. The whole place is falling apart. Pass up, man. We could send the whole building over the edge. Hey, Jeez, you ever done anything Jesus like this? Close. Nah. Overthrown a couple of governments, villages. Wait. <laughs> anything interesting? Hello? Okay, gents, stay sharp. Let's keep this jaw nice and tidy for the boss lady. That's it. For now. Better keep moving. <clears throat> Come on, ready? Ready. Careful, it's a long way down. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Oh, crap! Whew. Watch that first step. It's a doozy. Yeah. Busted in the middle. We'll make do. Keep heading up. How you doing back there? It's a hell of a view.
Oh, talk about a high dive. Okay, now what? Trust me and follow my lead, okay? like that. They're definitely in the high rent district now. Not residential though. You think some kind of administration building? Probably. Missing colonists. Some of them, anyway. Jesus. Cannons, improvised barricades. What the hell happened here? Some kind of battle. It's a rhetorical question. The real question is who's fighting who? Why? Man, this is impressive. Uh, to say the least. Here we go. Or not. You wanna give me a hand? Yeah. It's empty. Of course it is. You think Rafe? No. Nothing's been touched in here for hundreds of years. Right. Well, search for clues? Yeah, search for clues. Let's event these shelves here. Captain Avery. You've certainly seen better days. <laughs> Found something. Is this letter still intact? Thief? What's this? Old manifest. Lots of treasure. Hey Nathan, over here. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. Mm -hmm. Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Yeah. That leaves the bigger question. Where is it now? OK. So we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, Dan, inside. What do you think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look, there's Avery, two. Founders of Libertalia. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, Treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? 
Uh, pirates will be pirates. Huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? It's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's a map of Libertalia. All right, so follow it to the other side of the island there, look. Right there. New Devon. Wait, Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. <laughs> what do you say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Now, how do we get up there? Okay, ready? <laughs> Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. <laughs> Sounds right. Just take the compliment. Sorry, Condon. Baldridge. What? You're stepping on Baldridge. Oh, so I am. Hey, you coming, Sam? Right behind you. All right. Up we go. I'm really shocked the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. Oops. Spoke too soon. Like I said. See in this tower? Sure am. You Sam? Yeah. All right, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. Just about there. <laughs> sure is excited. Need a lift? I love a lift. Come on, ready? Ready. All right, I found something. Hey, stand back. Here you go. Oh. Quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is. Just on the other side of the river. Now, why do you say we go rob from the rich, huh? <laughs> hey, is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. So, how long do you figure it'll take us to get to New Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. Nathan! Nathan! 
Captain! Get up, brother. We gotta go. We gotta go! Uh, now! Let's try this again. you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Are oh, you always this clever? Uh, have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Hey, there's, there's still time. Trust a drink. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey, just, just let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. Oh, God damn it. Go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this island. I'm tired of your brother. And I'm tired of you. I know you don't. Get back. How did you do that? Nathan! Did we just talk about this? I don't think so. Hang in there, Sam. I'm coming. Almost there, Sam. You're fast, but you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they... Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just... just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. 
Nate. Samuel. Put your guns down. All of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! Start! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! Uh, come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. I'd love to hear what you have in mind. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just. Right. You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. The gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake an authority on Avery, is alive, and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my life for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> All behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself. Keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't listen! Ah!
There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. And here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Yeah, well, we start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. <sighs> you think this place has an alarm? Uh, let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. Come on. Follow me. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. Spooky. Well, here, I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Nope. Yeah, it's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. Like finding a needle in a haystack. We <gasps> budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push. 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 <sighs> what the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice.
It's locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. <sighs> hey! The air vent! Up there! Oh, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can't handle it. All right. Let's see what you got then. All right, you ready? Oh, oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. A smile, all right? Okay, <gasps> up here. Okay, I'm in. Can you get the door open? Uh, hold on. Jeez. It's like a hospital in here. Got it. So, anything? Didn't see any journals. We still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Ah, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. Something. <laughs> this is it. Is a paradise? Whoa. Henry Avery. Gunsway Heist. Oh. Oh, what do you got there? I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that you know, that's definitely mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So 
So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh. <gasps> hi? My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah. You still might, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So... Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness... It... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out, hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Sam? Oh, the police. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this... Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now.
window, window, come on. Okay, you check upstairs. You come with me. Copy that. Hurry. Wait up. Back from the guys inside. It's a big place. Might take a while. Yeah. Sam! I got you. Just jump! The chimney. Come on. Coming. Front gate looks clear. Front enough. gate. Here, got we? it. What do you got? Two One juvenile. Okay. On the ground somewhere. Nathan! Uh, 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 you all right? You there! Don't move! Run for it! This way! We can lose him! This is Officer Murphy. We've got two burglary suspects on foot. One adult, one juvenile. Full spin! Freeze, goddammit! You there! Down on the ground! Oh, Hands on your head! Stop, God damn it! Pack this way! Go, go, go! <laughs> there! Uh, there you are! Gotcha! <clears throat> Come on, go! Drop the back up! I did already! One more warning! Down on the ground, hands on your head! Gotcha! <laughs> oh shit. Come on! Run! Stop, goddammit! Nathan, over here! There! By the guest house! Run! Oh shit! They're bolting! The dumpster! Come on! Okay. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? You can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan? Back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious? 
Aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? And everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while, it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I. After I thought I lost him. You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. <coughs> it would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> No, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah. They're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean, thanks for saving me again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon. One of the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Rafe is taking your brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find it. <clears throat> Look. Up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down from there? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. Yeah, here.
There's your car. Just need to get up there. <laughs> well, what do you think? Which way? Well, let's take a look. There we go. I can boost you up there. Great. Oh. oh, sorry. Hey, do you think there's another way up? Uh... Hey, I see a path up here. There's a way through over there. See if you can find something I can use. Yep. Hold on. Hey, nice jump! Not bad, right? Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. Come on, I'll meet you around. <laughs> Roger that. Nate, can you find a way out of there? Looks like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it ever works. Oh, look. It works. The fact that this works, it's, it's kind of incredible. Ugh, jinxed it. You know, I'll just uh, meet you at the top, I guess. Nice move! Nothing to it. Now then, which way's the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good idea. Oh, we're getting some exercise at least, right?
Hmm? Heads up, I have something. Got your back, It's worth a shot. What you got? I think we're good here. Elena! Ready! Charm. Okay, pretty sure we lost. It. So here's my question Why does Ray Fadler want Avery's treasure? It's not like he needs the money. He wants the glory. You want to be known as a guy who only got rich because of his inheritance. Walking away isn't an option for him. Well, Rafe is a good match for Shoreline. He needs their muscle and they need his money. They do? They seem pretty well stocked. Shoreline got involved in a couple of civil wars which didn't pan out for them. Nadine inherited her father's mess. She's probably hoping that this will put her back on the map. Wow, check out that elevator. It's massive. Bet you could write a killer article about all this. <laughs> I could. I doubt anybody would believe it. I uh, can take pictures too. I didn't bring my camera. Kind of wish I did though. So, why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you after Rafe had I think he wanted to gather every clue that Rafe had on Avery before bailing on him. Plus, he needed time to come up with that crazy alphabet story. <sighs> I just looked it up. That is one crazy contraption. It looks big enough to fit the car. Well, here's hoping this one works as well. All right, let's look around. Of course not. Would have been too easy. The water wheel's still working. Well, either we fix this thing or we find a way to climb it. Let's see what's what. go stand clear I got it okay how's that it looks like I can get up there now thank you okay Yet. I'm gonna climb higher. I need an elevator just to fix the elevator. Yeah. You made it. Is there ever a doubt? Wait, hold on. I got an idea. I'm gonna detach the winch now. Okay. I'll bring the car to the elevator. Good call. Here we go. <laughs> we did it. I'm coming! 
Cover. Let me see if I can flank them. Let me see what I can do. Oh, it's moving again! All right, sit tight. I'll climb around and cover you. Sure? You seem to be doing fine. After all that, I need a break. Huh. I turned it. <sighs> so I was thinking, all this engineering and architecture, it doesn't come cheap. You think there's even any treasure left? We are wondering that ourselves. There's the elevator. Uh. There goes nothing.
Whoa, hang on. Ah, there. I got control again. We're getting there. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Great. They're on the plane. Not great. That damn. We can drive through the sluice gate. Hey, take the wheel a sec. Okay. Cool. We're good. Here we go. Okay, I'll try the other one. Oh. I've seen that coming. And behind door number two. Looks like this one's clear. Nice work. We're good. Watch this. Hang on! We did it! You sound surprised. Maybe a little. And we're up! Pretty odd that elevator worked. So far, we're two for two. Yeah, which means we're due for some disaster. Well, the water wheel's working. That bodes well. Hey, give me a hand with this. Oh, crap! I'll hold it. Just get the car. There's nothing. Three for three. You gotta love that pirate engineering. Wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life-or-death gunfights. <laughs> so what made you change your mind? Hmm? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And, you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse, yeah. For better or worse. Here. 
<sighs> Give me a hand with this. All right. Okay. <laughs> you know, even if you think that you're protecting me, you don't have a right to shut me out. <sighs> no matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I, I know that. Really, I do. It's just... I, I, yeah. You know, I, we should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. <sighs> Next stop, New Devon. Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Saw a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. I guess we'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no-nose is good news type. We'll try. Over and out. Okay. Should be on the other side of the bridge. Hang on tight. I can't! Current's too strong! Brace yourself! Hang on! Ugh. Nate? Nate! There! We can climb up those rocks! On it! Uh. Go! Go! Uh. I got it! Come on! Nate! Uh. Waterfall! Waterfall? I'm okay! The tree! The tree is not okay! Oh, come on! Over here, quick! Gotcha! Whew! Huh? So much for the car. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just, I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was, uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Just keep moving. Yeah. This way. <clears throat> At least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. That would have been bad. I see an opening up there. Good call. Now, how do we get up there?
Avery sure picked a gorgeous island. Well, maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. More gibbets. Oh, my God. Oh, I guess that's one way to quash our rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. We mm, are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Oh, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Sorry to disturb you, pal. Excuse me. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. A <laughs> real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. One that's still intact. Ah. Oh. They're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, I've had a little practice. I read a few books. Shit, no, shit. What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. Yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. There goes nothing. Whoops! Whoa! You all right?
Watch your head. So lock this place down. We need to be prepared if they show up. More prepared than the river patrol. What's that? Uh, nothing. It had better be nothing. Huh? What the? That was something. <laughs> nothing over there, eh? Talk to me, man. Without the fight that I could just try it. We're ready for you. Too close. Jesus, I think that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look.
Okay, current's a little strong. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. I <laughs> just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Well, wet again. Tired, bruised. A little hungry. I could eat. Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. Come on. Let's try cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you. Do you think the colonists flooded this place? Well, they definitely had the motivation. But you don't think it's them. I just find it odd that all these houses are underwater except for one. Exactly. Nice water feature. Time for another swim, I guess. Whoa, whoa! Stronger than it looks. 
Hey, Nate. Over there. That looks like an exit. Right you are. I'll weigh it down for you. Great. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. you make a great counterweight. Okay, I'll choose to take that as a compliment. As well you should. I made it. I'll find a way up for you. This should work. All right, stand clear. Here you go. Hey, great. Let's move this out of the way. Yep. Okay. Good Lord. <laughs> Looks like we found the party. Looks like we're a little late. Hey, Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these are the pirate captains that founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II? Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um, uh, was it, uh... Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. <laughs> these are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant, at this very table. 
It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. Up here, slowly. Be careful. I'm okay. I got it. I'll meet you up top. Hey. Hi. Officially inside Henry Avery's house. Oh. Word of the day ostentatious. So, why didn't he kill? <laughs> Look, Shoreline barricaded the front door. And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. Let's see where they went. Hmm. More footprints. So, where are the shoreline guys? I know, right? Uh, exp Lena, check it out. The footprints go through this door. from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless... They found something. All right, help me push this open. Yeah. Oh, shit!
Jesus. You all right? Yeah. They were just waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. See what they didn't want us to find. Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, hello there. What is it? It's a letter. Signed by Avery. Really? Read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly. Destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go find that passage. There's no more footprints. They end here. Okay, so where did they go? Let's look around. It's Sam's lighter. Did he drop it? Yeah, on purpose. Whatever it is we're looking for has to be somewhere around here. There's gotta be another way out of this room. Maybe that passage Avery mentioned in the letter. But where's the switch? Maybe this is a switch. No. I wonder if... Nope. This could be... But it isn't. Nate. Yeah. Did you find something? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing they figured that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I pushed it. Nicely done. So the letter said that Avery was moving his treasure to the ship. Yeah. Do you think the treasure's still on the island? I think, uh, I think it doesn't matter anymore. Here we go. Careful, Nate. Hit, watch your head. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. Crap. Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. Yeah. Look, fresh footprints. They must have come this way. My money's on Nadine's men. They'll use any excuse to use dynamite. It has to be pretty dumb to use it in here. Yeah, they're pretty dumb. Uh-oh. You bring any spare batteries? Yeah, yeah, but they're at the bottom of the ocean. I won't ask. Whoa, whoa, hold up. So, some kind of death trap? Uh, yeah. But Sam and the others somehow made it across. We just gotta follow their lead. Ugh. 
wouldn't be so bad if it didn't creak so much. Just don't go where the footsteps aren't. And <laughs> unclench. Whew. Lena, look. Footprints stop here. They must have made it through and it collapsed behind them. Hey, just gonna move this out of the way here. Yeah. to find another way. Oh no, just hold on a little longer. Crap, come on! Damn it. Hey, you still have Sam's lighter? Yes, good idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Of course he used it all up. Smoked like a goddamn chimney on the boat right over. Relax. I brought some matches. You did? Of course. There we go. <sighs> oh, sorry. Just one sec. Hello? Over here! Ow! Ah, oh, that's my head. Over here. Thanks. Glad you came prepared. Somebody had to. Come on, let's find a way forward. Nice romantic lighting, huh? You have a funny idea of romance. Hey, this looks promising. Boost you up? Yeah. Come on. Okay, come on up. Okay, thanks. Watch your head. Yeah. I can't go this way. Stole from me. Wow, Avery's not even pretending to be sane at this point. I don't like this place. Me either. Let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, look. Avery had some gibbets left over. Gibbets. What? It's pronounced gibbets. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, no one likes to know it all. Wait, is that...? You okay? I think so. What was that? Trap. Avery really didn't want any trespassers down here. Alright, watch your step. Me? You're the one that stepped on it. Fine. Oh, hell. God damn it! Are you okay? Yeah, so far so good. Maybe I just crap. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah. Well, now we know what caused the explosion we heard earlier. And no wonder so many parts of this passage have caved in. Hey Nate, I found a shortcut. I didn't know it's a shortcut. I'm trying to be optimistic here. <laughs> All right. Careful, it's a little slippery. <laughs> Jesus. Avery's decorated this chamber, too. More human mobiles. Damn it, more mummies. Don't explode, okay? Well, 
back on the trail. The footprints go this way. I'd be ready for a fight. Oh, I always am. Is that a, in reference to me? No, would you calm down? Calm down. <laughs> Gee, guess these guys weren't paying attention. There's no sign of Sam. We'll find them. Oh, hell. Elena, get down! Come on, dude! You're trying to bring the whole place down! I appreciate Avery's exploding mummies. <coughs> the mouths that spoke ill of me. I'd hate to see this guy's Christmas tree. I don't see any footprints. We must be on a different route than the others. All right, let's see if we can catch up. Excuse me. Hello. Some kind of key. What's that note? Oh, right. It's, uh, it's from two to his men. Hey, we can use the key to get out of here. That's good. Hmm. There's some symbols on the back. Well, let's go find a keyhole. Oh, boy. Crap. Stop! I'm okay! He 
gonna explode now? Huh? No? How about you? This guy had some serious. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Done. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my ears just popped. Yeah, we're definitely descending. Okay, I'm death trap. Yeah, no footprints to guide us. Okay, we're off to a good start. Follow my lead, okay? Just be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> Says the guy who set off every mummy bomb in this place. There. Made it. In your face, Avery. <laughs> That's our way out of here. <clears throat> yeah, gotta be. We know Avery likes to make an example of his enemies. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, tread carefully in here. Keyhole? Key. Wait, it could be a trap. We really don't have much of a choice. Oh boy. But I have a good feeling about this one. Huh? Do it. Well, at least we didn't get blown to bits. Oh, shit. You didn't bring a knife by any chance, did you? No. Oh, but that guy's got a sword. Here, help me swing this thing. like old times, huh? Lena? Lena? Hey! Hey! Lena, come on! Lena! Uh, my hero. Oh, no, you didn't do that. <laughs> no! That's not funny! Oh. oh, you have done much worse. No. God, you gave me a goddamn heart attack. Oh, let me listen. Sounds well, I, good to me. Uh, you realize we're now even for everything I've ever pulled, right? Yeah, like ever. No, not by a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you've got mud everywhere. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you have a funny idea of romantic? Yeah. Yeah, I may have heard that somewhere before. Good talk. Good talk. That's got to be Sam. Come on. At least the gunfire means he's still alive. For now. Is that a galleon? 
Yeah, sure looks like it. <clears throat> Holy crap. It's a ship graveyard. Looks like we can get down this way. Yeah, looks safe. We're getting closer to them. Oh, crap. Look, that's Sam. He's surrounded. Come on, we gotta go get him. I gotta find a way to the beach. Hey! Nate! They're behind you! Find some cover! Go! Take down. the ship's hold.
okay? Yeah. I'm okay enough. Now let's find your brother. Yeah. Hey, we can squeeze through here. Okay, now where did Sam go? You wait this way! Huh? There's your answer. <laughs> a sight for sore eyes. Yeah. How about we get off this damn beach, huh? Absolutely. Did you find my lighter?
Trucks, did you bring Rafe? Shoreline Merc had an RPG. Alright, truck. You're going down. better in my head. Nice work, kid. Yeah, thanks for the assist. Come on over. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> Please. Good to see you, kid. <laughs> right in the nick of time. Yeah, well, got a little antsy waiting around to hear from you two. Oh, no, we gotta find Sam and Elena still. Hey. 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 
Are you okay? Yeah. We heard those explosions, we thought. Yeah, that's all this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you saved his ass again? Naturally. How you doing? Good. Good. There was some close calls, but, um... He covered me. Hey. Hey. How's that? Oh. <laughs> Bullet grazed my shoulder. Yeah. You? Cliffside grazed my face. So how'd you lose Rafe? He <sighs> led his crew right into one of Avery's traps. Smart. <laughs> hey, look. About the whole Alcazar thing. Hey, just, we gotta save that for later, okay? Which way? On the beach, other side of this town. Okay. Good, I hope all that ruckus didn't attract any attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. What are we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're getting the hell off of this rock. Right, we, we, we could do that. Or we could head in that direction, which is a shortcut. Shortcut to what? To Avery's treasure. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, Rafe's got to go all the way around, but we can hey, just... Hey, screw Rafe. Hey, Victor, with all due respect, maybe just... You just this... don't know when to quit. Look, we're all here for the same reason, right? Right? We didn't come after the treasure. We came after you. And I appreciate that. I, I, I do. But we're good. And we've got the lead for now. <laughs> we can do this. Nathan, come on. Huh? Look around. Okay? Avery scuttled every last ship on this island. You know why? Because he was hell bent on keeping his treasure. Exactly. No matter the cost to the others around him. Because he didn't want anyone to follow him. Because he was leaving. Look at this. Okay. I found his map of the island. Okay? That's his ship right under that mountain. That's where our treasure is. And it is exactly where Rafe is headed right now while we stand around here and argue like idiots. Okay, what if he's already left the island and his ship sunk somewhere out there in the middle of the ocean? Then we find out where it got sunk. Oh, boy. How long we've been chasing this thing, huh? <laughs> you and me. No offense to these guys. They don't get it. Actually, Sam, they do. They really do. Okay. Uh, trust me, they've seen this kind of obsession before. <sighs> Sam, we're not those kids anymore. We're not. And we got nothing to prove. Victor, where's that plane? Right this way. Is it far? Not very. <clears throat> Just through this port town. <clears throat> What if Shoreline set up an ambush by the plane? They didn't. And what makes you so sure? Because they're heading to the mountain. For the treasure. This way. There she is. It's a long drop. How did you get here? Yeah, I hopped down a few of these walls, but we'll have to find another way around. Give me a hand, Sam. All right. Hey, you need a hand? Hey, no thanks. We got it.
Anyone see a way out? Hey guys, through here. Whoa, check that thing out. It's like a sky rail or something. Think it still works? Huh. Well, we're getting there. I can't wait to sleep in my own bed again. So close, yet so far. There's no controls, but I bet I could pull the platform with my rope. Maybe if you could get to that wooden platform down there. I got an idea. Nathan, give me a hand. Okay. Okay, Victor, can I borrow you for a sec? Sure. All right, go ahead, Nathan. Yeah, we'll hold it down. You jump across. <laughs> Made it! Here we come. Got it. All right, hop on. I'll pull you across. Okay, we're ready. Well, this is some Whoa! Oh. You guys all right? Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. Come on up, Nate. Go! Jump off, quick! Nate, give me a hand! Sam! Bitch! Sam, come on! Huh? Come on, just jump, I'll catch you. Let's go! No. No, no, don't you even think about it, you hear me? I'm sorry I got you into this. All of you. Hey, all of that doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just, just jump. I gotta see this thing through, Nathan. Sam, hey, listen to me. If you do this, I'm not coming after you. You hear me? I'm sorry. Sam. Sam! Oh. You called your bluff. He's gonna get himself killed. Come on. She's, she's probably right. Of course she is. Let's go. Up here. Maybe we can head him off. I'm gonna save him, and then I'm gonna punch him. All right, let's just worry about the saving part first. What the hell is he thinking? I mean, after everything that we... Wasn't this enough? Let's just find him. Hey, we can get over that wall with this. Come on. Here, we got you. You ready? Got it. Okay. All right. All right, see? Oh. This isn't gonna hold. Dang, go. No, I got it. Oh. Now, how the hell are we supposed to get up there? 
We don't have enough time. Nate? No, not by yourself. Look, I'll come right back, okay? Look, he is not gonna leave without a fight. Yeah, well, then I'll fight him if I have to, but either way, I'm bringing him back. Just get the plane as close to the mountain as you can and be ready for a quick getaway. Like there's another kind? It's not fair. Huh? Doing the dishes? We take turns? Don't even think about not coming back. <laughs> I love you. Same to you, cowboy. Gonna head to the creepy mountain, save Sam, get the hell out of here. Yeah, be laughing about the whole thing tomorrow. Footprints. Well, you didn't fall. Still get a chance to kill you. go. Hey, Sam! Sam, if Rafe and Nadine don't kill you, I just might. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh. 
Oh god, this is so much harder than it looks. I can do it! Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh crap! I made it. I don't know how I made it. We made it. Oh my god, that's Avery's ship. I guess this is my way down. Oh God, come on! Did you really do all that, Sam? I doubt it. I probably found the driveway down. Nice paint. Done here? This is the last of them, ma'am. Good. If we are, we can catch up with the others. <sighs> Sam just stole our goddamn boat. He's headed for every ship. Come on. Let him. We're done. We're done. Most of my men are dead, Rafe. And those who aren't have already left. Can you see that? The end is literally in sight. That maniac pirate of yours has rigged this entire cave. I'm not setting foot on his ship. Nadine, if you cut and run right now, the loss of all your men, everything that we've done, is for nothing. We have millions in gold right here. I'd say that plus our lives is something. No wonder so many of your men abandoned you. Excuse me? We're on the verge of making history here, and you're willing to just walk off with a pittance, a fraction of what Sam's gonna get from that boat. If he can walk away from that ship alive, he can have it. Hell, I'd say he's earned it. God knows you didn't. Now look, we can stand here and insult each other all day, or we can finish what it is that we've done. <laughs> Oh, we're finishing it, all right. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah. Thing about mercenaries, Nadine, their loyalty, it's bought. It's not earned. Now, come on. Either we can finish this thing, 
together. Or we can just end it right here. Let's go make history. Not a girl. By all means. <laughs> See what you have in store for us, Captain Avery. Treasure. God damn. Is it worth it? Nate? Where is Sam? Oh, he's right there. Sam? Relax, he's alive. Well, this idiot nearly got us all killed. I'm getting him out of here. No, you're not. Rafe, you can have the treasure, all right? Just let me save my brother. <laughs> <laughs> After everything he's done? How noble of you, but no. We stay here any longer, and we're all dead. Is that what you want? It's not what I said. What do you think, Nadine? <coughs> Good to see you up and about. Be a deer and relieve Nate there of his gun. Hand it over. You really think you can trust him? Huh? Not your concern. Now, why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are our partners. I don't screw over my partners. Get over there. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you learn. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? I won't ask you again. You are being profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. Nadine, stop screwing up. Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those two are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. They killed each other. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with this treasure gets what they deserve. So what, you're just leaving us here to die? Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! Rafe! 
She's gone! Come on, give me a hand, we'll all get out of here. Oh, no, that won't work. Come on, help me with Sam and I'll help you open the door. Well, I'm not going to be able to enjoy one of these coins. Knowing that you and your worthless brother are still sucking air. Just, just calm down. You can practice your fencing when we get outside. Nate, just shut up. Seriously, Rafe, this is insane, even for you. You want to hear insane? Nathan Drake raced a madman and his entire army to the steps of Shambhala. That's Jesus. Nathan Drake found the lost city in the middle of the Rubal Kali Desert. Yeah. God damn it. Come on, we can get out of here together. Nathan Drake discovered the fabled El Dorado. <laughs> Come on, Rafe. Stop. Nathan Drake is a legend. <laughs> you know, I, I shot the man who told me that. Look, I get it. You don't like me very much. You know, for all your greatness, Nate, you have nothing. You are nothing. And I warned you to get out of my way. I have sacrificed everything to find Avery, and I'm not gonna let a couple of stupid thieves a senile con man and a washed up journalist take that away from me! You care about that parade of losers so much, I'm going to make sure they join you. On guard, dickhead. That's the spirit. You know how to sword fight? Yeah. Sticky with the sharp end, right? Oh, this should be fun. Come on, Nate. God damn it. You make it too easy. Hold still. Come on, quit prolonging the inevitable. My arms get. Now we're getting somewhere. What the hell's wrong with you? This might hurt a little. Get off! <laughs> Come on, legend. Come on, Nate. Come on! I hear so much about. All right, all right. We're done here. I'm taking my brother and we're leaving. You want to stay in burn with this ship, you'd be my guest. You got me. You know what, Nate? Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence for shit. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Nathan! <laughs> 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 
You don't know what to give up! That's good! Don't hand it to me! I had everything handed to me on a goddamn silver platter. I earned this. All of it. You want the treasure, Rafe? It's all yours. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. It's too heavy. Strike it. It's no use. Try it again. It's no use. Come on. Take this. Damn it. Listen to me. Listen to me. All I ever wanted to do was find this treasure with you. Sam, hey, sure. we did it. We did it, brother, OK? It's all right. There's going to be another way. Nathan, you got to go. There's going to be some. got to go. It's tough. There is no other way. Come on, Nathan. I gotta know you made it out all right. No. Nathan, the whole place is about to blow up. That's it. That's it. What the hell are you doing? You stress me. God damn it. Let's get your head down. She's one to know. Come on. here. Got everything? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sully. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 <laughs> what are you telling her? Just about your little magic. <laughs> 
face. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> it's not funny. It makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh huh. Hey, look, Sam, it has been an experience getting to meet you. But the handshake? Well, <laughs> bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this numbskull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about that, it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you've got a few ancient cities on me. I can't let that slide. So. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's our ride. Yeah. Uh, Sam, you've come far. We sure have a little brother. Come here. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, vamos. <laughs> So, Victor, what's next for you, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Yeah. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Quando seu marido volta para casa? What's that mean? How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marine. No kidding? Yeah. Wow, that, well, hey, I guess, I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Oh, well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. They drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a mutually beneficial agreement. That's, that's great. Are, are you gonna stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so who's the sap who's gonna buy this place? Oh, uh, you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> wait, Jameson. Hey, wait, wait up, man. Hey, morning, guys. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay. Perfect. Is, is this for real? Nate, all you need to know is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. 
Call me when you're through. You got it. Hi. Hi. You're, you're buying Jameson Marine? We are buying Jameson Marine. Oh. Okay. How? Why? Well, I heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it'd be right oh, up our no, alley. No. Honey, look. We barely got out of Libertalia alive. Yeah. Hey, taking an illegal job? You know what that leads to. Who said it was illegal? <laughs> look. This came in this morning. Is this legit? Yeah. Some of my old contacts out there, they worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Here. Hold out your hand. What? Hold out your hand. Come on. Holy crap. Where did you get this? It was in my jacket pocket. <laughs> Along with a bunch more. A bunch? Sam. He's a sneaky <laughs> one. Yeah. Of course, most of them are gonna have to go into our venture here. Along with all the new camera gear. Camera gear? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew. We could film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just living a normal life? I think in our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look, when I was on that island, I missed the adventure. I missed us. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. But from here on out, we are gonna operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. Wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. But listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement like that. That'd be cruel. Right. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, you know. Nothing worthwhile is. So, what do you say, Nathan Drake? Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diving. Okay, fine. We'll take turns. Yeah. Or... I could play for it. Seriously? No, listen, I have been practicing. I'm getting good. No. My hand eye is way I better than it used to be. Your... Really? <laughs> I cannot do that to you again. Are you afraid to play me? I am so not. Afraid on a to scale play of you. one to ten, how scared are you to play me? Like a three. Yeah, well, jack that up to like eleven, all oh, right? Because uh, I'm coming for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my that's Okay. Fine. You're on.
Mom? Dad? Anyone? Yoo-hoo! I think they abandoned us. goes. Ah, perfect day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. And not here either. Okay, I guess I'll just wait then. <sighs> what do you keep in here? <laughs> so goofy. Hmm. He left his keys. His keys. There's no way. It's just no way. Uh. Whoa. Uh, I knew it. What is this? A Spanish doubloon, but from where? Kind of creepy. Kind of cool. Hello. Gunsway heist? Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? No way. Is that Dad? Sig Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Huh. What's this? What the hell? Oh shit. Crap. Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's get... up, Cassie? Okay. Don't be mad. Hey, I said don't be mad. Keys. <sighs> so, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. Yeah. Huh. 
This was bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a silver skull of some kind. You no, know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really. Nate, it's time to have the talk. Mm. Yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of that. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, <sighs> funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. Oh, she knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. <laughs> yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. No, oh, come on, you know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's much right. it, yeah. Bullshit. Language. Language. Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, well wait, what would Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? Uh, that's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue, a cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, I'll get back to that later. See, the map led us to the middle of the Amazon jungle. That's when it's my favorite. It makes your eyes doing good. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Well, the Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> 
You don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. Right on time. Okay, look. 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! Hey! You need the guy. Oh? And what'll that cost me? <laughs> My sister needs me. How am I supposed to get up tonight? <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> what? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back. Please. <sighs> Fine. A for effort, kid. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Ah. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen. I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what. When I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal. your rash. How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey. Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him. I said, where do you live? I'm in the middle of something. It can wait. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. A 
Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. Red door. Check. Not this way. Shift ends in an hour. Okay. I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No. Oh, Great timing. Is that the last one? Yeah. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? Since he was chasing down small trinkets all over India. Join the real. Nice and easy. We're ahead of these small operations. When do we take the fight to the tyrants? <laughs> Asal says he needs more time to prepare. The government thinks we're a joke. They won't see that for one time. for weeks. Lotus. Not what I was picked. It was at least two targets. One was the warehouse, the other. You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? should relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down Asov. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules.
What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Mm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor, balcony. All right. Let's do this. Had a street route all planned out. But they'll be looking for us now. What do you suggest? I'll think of something. Come on. I'll give you a boost up. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. Follow me. Received Cobra One. Get to the control desk. We have it. Over. Uh, it work. Well, where to now? Up. Here we go. Oh! Oh! You trying to kill me? Sorry about that. How about we avoid crates from now on? Okay, okay. good deal. Cheap office supplies if you want them. You're always this talkative on the job. Yeah. So just take a moment. There's one. Oh, that works. Let's find that disc. Thank you very much. Watch our backs, yeah? Yeah. An antique shop. He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. I'll just borrow this. Fraser. Mm hmm. Come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Hoysala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. It's beautiful. Oh, 
Time to go. Nadine Ross. What a pleasant surprise. Ah, ah, careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You're too kind. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that Shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser. Collector of antiquities. A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. <gasps> what? I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure, the Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions, three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out. <laughs> Messy, but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Because the leopard can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go. Oh, I'm coming to you. Oh. 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 
going out there. On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons. Transport hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesh's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. It rubbed off. He must be proud. <laughs> Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. Go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. This her Sala? Hoi Sala. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A sov's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. Ah, right where I left it.
okay. You still down there? Yep. Still here. Great. I'm just checking. Here, give me your hand. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. <sighs> Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoysalar exhibition. I've never even heard of the Hoysalar before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital to help the tusk. Woo! Look at that! The Ringo Convention! Oh, oh. Refreshing. Ugh. Could have warned me. Oh, where's the fun in that? So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No. Not really. Boy up ahead. Oh, slow down. Oh, look at this. Hoysala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. The old capitals. What have we got? Halabadu and Valour. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Valour. Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Hmm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. That'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan. Unless you brought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Right, that should no, do the trick. Brother. Fraser, move, it's an ambush. <laughs> Shit, take cover. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Watch yourself. Okay, we're clear. Right. Where were we? You were about to pull down the bridge. Yeah, I was. And there we go. You're awfully quiet. I'm just surprised is all. I figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian ruins. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. Whoa, what? They're just large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Made it. Stop. A soft. Huh. Well spotted. Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. Gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Any word from Cobra One? Patience. Here goes nothing. Hey, over here! 
Shit! I have them! They're on to us! Enough of this! <laughs> Just like I planned. <laughs> yeah. Let's get going. This looks to be it. Shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could hit the day of the land from the top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a song. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. He won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for us. <laughs> Up and away. Up there? Huh? So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map with an axe. 
And behind door number two. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the trident door. Another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. button before climbing up. Well, was it worth the climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Never understood the appeal of people like Saab. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Saab anyway? Purpose. I'd rather not go into it. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... No. Uh... Do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks. Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's the sub strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Sar? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Oh, hold on. Look there! One of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motor. <clears throat> like the disc. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. The gate secured! Not yet. Let's keep this quiet. Getting on Cobra 8. Copy that. That's a lot of them. You all right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. 
ignore this. What's the trick here? What? Looked like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. And how about you? That's two. Here's another one. Three down. Found you. Only one left. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Okay. Did it. Got her right eye. Did. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. Here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient porcelain jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now, I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Mm -hmm. oh. Fraser, oh. look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go... Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. What, you should know? Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there. And that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. It's a 
suppose I should have asked about the dregs before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. <laughs> Right. All right, let's find a way out. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. Fight like a girl. All right, we're clear. For real this time. You handed yourself on, all things considered. All things considered? That's high praise coming from you. Mountains and make them. Yes and yes. <laughs> hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, Oh, there's a plus on? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say.
the site's compromised. This should do the trick. Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Now where do we go? Up. We go up. Nice to be out of that shithole finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. It's Caesar! That's it. We're clear. There, from the mountain! Here come the others! See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Hey, they're made us. Right there. Got this. Start the right one. to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say.
Our spigot is right on the other side of this gate. Must be a way to open it around here somewhere. That's a sure bet. Let's go and look. do it. Don't get started without me. Sure. Yeah. Wouldn't dream of it. Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Oh, nearly there. Wait it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. All right. I'm guessing it'll be a bird this time. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. The innermost circle moves the outer ring. And look at that. Parasharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. <sighs> and off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. <sighs> yeah. Ah, oh, this is open now.
Just the one by the mountain left. In you. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it. It's mad. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like the star fight over it. It's none of our concern. Parting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for a Saab? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. Sov's men might be around. Once more, with gusto. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. <clears throat> Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. Of course, there's not a whole luxury. Then trade them. 
I'm sure there's a man who is stop you. I'm smaller than most men. I thought we were talking about the feet. We are. We Hey, they're right here! Damn it! Okay? Slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit. Statue moved again. Ooh, that was close. All right. I think that did it. Come on over. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all voice alive. I like your description better. Close shave! Too bad. Let's make an axe. Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. There'd be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. 
My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want us off to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. No. Let's head back to the car. <sighs> Gotta love a shortcut. <laughs> Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. <clears throat> I would have made you dodge the axes. For what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation has got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too right. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Ugh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born in Toots. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Coming. Right behind you. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But, I'm guessing, we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this point. Sassy. <laughs> Now that's what I'm talking about. Not say I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Ok. 
Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadoo? Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. On the stairs down. Okay. Ready? Apologies. Up here, coming. Come on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, it's it. oh. oh. oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? <laughs> Got you. All right, I can manage. <coughs> Come on up. <coughs> but only because you said please. I didn't, actually. Once you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. <coughs> He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. Is that why the person I've chosen for Halibadu? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Really yep. You having fun out there? You know it. Thing I've ever done. Whoa. 
You're doing great, China. Thanks. We'll be doing better when we get to the farm. Surprised we haven't seen Asav yet. Knock on wood. Well, he's around. Dark will him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Huh? Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it? Oh, impressive. Yeah. Oh. Now, how do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Dirty up here. Don't jinx us. Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Ready? Incredible. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. Well, it's not a fair fight. <laughs> Ganesh is in command. Yeah. I guess it's not really his style. Here. Hey, look, armaments. You were right within. Ah. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. Oh, nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Hey, up here. <laughs> what the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. <laughs> Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Different. What is all this? 
If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. All right, that slid the piece away from me. It's shut in the Let's try this. Over you go. I see what's happening. The shadows match the mural. Right. So let's see if I can line them all up. Something looks like fun. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Ooh. Careful. Mm -hmm. Amazing. What the shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. Razor? Ross? Oh no. No, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? Oh, shit. It's definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick!
man and we're still alive. Oh. <laughs> Raw talent. And a little bit of luck. Oh. Hey. Nice work, partner. Nice work. Put it there. Jesus. <laughs> what was that? That's awful. I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> hey. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <clears throat> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> No, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. All right. Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Yeah. Copy that. I'll take point. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty is not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asav's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. They're Dumb. making progress, huh? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man right. in the city. You take Dumb left, bastard. I take right. Didn't give it a thing. Uh, Do you see anyone? Uh, right. Thanks for that. But I'll have it under control. Yeah, but I can't let you have all the fun. <laughs> we love you. Oh. <laughs> right, nothing personal. <laughs>
Oh. You all right? I think so. Oh, shit. Where are we? No idea. But at least we're not in the line of fire. Is that thing carved on the floor? What do you suppose it is? <laughs> Up here. Think there's a way through. being left to walk in the cell to get captured. Hear that? Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. It's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. Swing in a minute. You see, to rule a people, you must first sow chaos. Wait. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you. Take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. Uh, can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, 
Wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey, you sure you're good to go? As good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. Up here. Go slow. Let's get that thing open. Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Sam Drake. He's a goddamn expert. It's Sam Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave him You knew him my history death. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sarv made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man. That's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. <sighs> and to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. what I get for being honest. Socked in the door. <clears throat> Glad I thought to pack painkillers. Of course, they're back in the 4x4. Four four. Slow down. Slow down. Well, at least I've still got my dignity. This way. Ugh. Huh. Good. Ugh. Oh, right. <coughs> That's more 
don't like it. Oh, 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 shit. Get down, get down. Oh. Holy shit, is that in a day? Oh, she's really stepped in it now. I need to get to her. Any sign of them? Nothing yet. Well, keep your eyes open. They must be hiding somewhere. Can't have gone far on foot. Let's see how strong that APC really is. Put out C4! Watch yourselves. clear. There we go. You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? I... Spit it out! Okay, cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up, okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear. My priority is the task. Not Sam Drake. And certainly not you. Fair enough. <sighs> what are you doing? Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Oh, what was that? Exactly what it sounded like. Ugh. What the hell are they doing? Taking 
shortcuts. Okay. Looks like a step well. Yeah. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? Find us. She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy, girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. some of this? Here you go. Huh. One more. Look, I am... Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? I did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But. Bandits raided his camp, and, um... Local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So, listen, Fraser, you don't have to oh! It's a Dewey. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop! Because I speak. 
Greek elephant. Look at it. <laughs> no wonder she was so distressed. <laughs> hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right? I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Well, can we accomplish nothing else today? At least we reunited a family. No, just keep your distance. We've got a cough. Right. Maybe it's been a while, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. Nice of a serve to leave some supplies for us. Mm. Load up if you need it. Good call. <laughs> up here. Upstairs. I see light through the water. It's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from a solve. Apart from a solve. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up.
Ah, let's see where this goes. There must be a way into the city somewhere. <laughs> That ledge with waterfalls. That's the way forward. It's a shame, in a way, that the lure's hidden from the world. There we go. Up this way. Just keeps getting more and more spectacular. Damn it. They've blown the entrance. <laughs> Gotta be another way in. <coughs> in here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Hurry up. We need to catch up Come to the others. Head. I see him. Okay. Done. Let's go. Oh, what on earth is this? Hmm. 
Whoa. What do we have here? Incense? Or herbs? Fraser, over here. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Sav get that tusk. No. No, we can't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Through here. <sighs> Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? <sighs> Come on. It's deep enough. Okay. That's our way back in. Copy that. Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. Go 
I have a tight squeeze here. <laughs> Hello. Nice city you've got here. Does it? No. What? Got water in my ears. I hate that. I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. That's what? <clears throat> what on earth is this place? The throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up. But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. <laughs> Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. <laughs> ah. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. <laughs> hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. <sighs> Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I've just now noticed Shiva's got a King Cobra for a necklace. <laughs> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. <laughs> just need to figure out what it is. <laughs> Coming? I'm going to search the other side. Okay. Ah! There's another crank up ahead. Whoa. Okay. Did you see that? I'm standing right here. I know! Okay, I better get a move on. Going back now. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, good suggestion. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Nearly destroyed my pants. Wow. I can see my house from here. I did. I'll be right down. Ah, ah, slippery. Nicely done. Thank you. Okay, I've got this one. <laughs> Bringing down Shiva's drum. 
like the trident. Time to move. Come on, jump to the drum. I thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Oh shit, here we go. Hang on. Turn the water on for this side. And here we go. Now we've got water running down both sides. Look. Look. Oh. Shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. What? What you said, back in that place with all the statues. <laughs> Things always come in threes. Three points of a trident, the light split into three beams, and Shiva's third eye. Oh shit, this one's busted. Let me see. Hang ah. on. You got that? Yeah. Hurt.
quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. You made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit. What the hell is she doing here? You said find out, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so, Nadine Voss. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my... Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up!
appears the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our oh, On the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Hey, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. He's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't! Sharama. What now? Don't try anything stupid. Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet. He's yielding. Ganesh. It's going to fall! Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. <laughs> See, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? 
Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Bias. What do you mean? Just overheard a Sarf talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for. Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. So we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in a sort of hair, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. I saw the cagey one. Almost never talked shop in front of me. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoi sala crap. Yeah, that's it. Found the train tracks. Sort of. Kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the Hoysala ruins. That looks either British or Portuguese. 1800s, not quite modern. Kit, you there? The softens were dead. Let's try to keep it that way. No, oh, Nadine. Here we go. This way. Copy that. 
Should have packed my machete. <clears throat> Little help? No problem. Go ahead. No, no. You first. Much obliged. Wow. I never joke about anything. You know, one of you could have just let me borrow your own, but... Uh, there goes nothing! That was close. You in one piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You know, I feel so much safer with her around. Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I didn't do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watch him then. Uh, <laughs> got it. You see anything up there we can climb on? Like a crate or something? <laughs> This should work. <laughs> huh. Nice. Got it. Come on up. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Are you too kind? No. She's just worried I'll kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh, how about I scout ahead a little bit? I wouldn't really leave him. <laughs> yeah, well, play nicer. <laughs> Sam, see your way forward? Yeah, sort of. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. <laughs> oh, <Chloe>! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. You all right? Yeah. Great. I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and... I have a better idea. What are you... Don't uh, move. Ow, come on. Hey. I said don't move. <laughs> Unbelievable. Chloe, can I borrow your rope? Of course. Me first, though. Don't mind me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, just leave the rope for me, please. You got it. There's a cave up there. Might cut through to the tricks. I take it she's going first. Why don't you go ahead? Leave the rope for me. You got it. Next time, bring your own bloody rope. Heads up. What is this place? Light? Sure. All right, well, there's only a few of them. We can probably... Light! That sub guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Sure? What the hell are they doing there? We got rid of all these... Hey, Sam. Saying... Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. 
because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and just. <gasps> she said she was cool. Whoa. the last of them. Uh, Nadine, another word. What? Just following your example? Hmm. I think we can squeeze through here. <clears throat> Give me a hand. <clears throat> Fraser, you go first. Thanks. Be long now. Until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio tower. They did. You see way up? Fraser, we'll find something you can hook your rope to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. Got something for you. The bracelet against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. Well, that does it. Exactly. Jesus. Get up here! Go! 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 Sam! Hold on to that bar! I'm doing it! Oh, shit! Well, it looks sturdy enough. Thanks, you too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was her idea. <laughs> so, you never heard a soft talk about Shoreline? Swear to God. All I heard from this man was the Indian army had cut off his supply chain and they were looking for outside help. The soldiers were desperate. Yeah, I mean, Shoreline will take money from Maddie. Uh, I mean... Forget it. That's true. Oh, God. Stuck. Let me a hand. Sure. Uh, 
Hey, you know, this might actually work. You know, you could help if you wanted. Nah, it's all right, you two got it. Oh, shit! Look out! Didn't see that coming. Everyone all right? Fine. Uh, yeah. So much for our way up, though. Yeah, maybe there's a way through, though. Right. A little high. Sam, bet you're tall enough to get that ladder. Come on, I'll boost you up. I'll give you a hand. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this, sure. Ready when you are. <clears throat> oh, have you ever knocked? Oh, shit! Sorry! <laughs> any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, can't say I was expecting Sam Direct to come back into my life. You know... I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? Certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl in the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. <laughs> yep, coming! Okay, Sam, what do you got? I have found a crate. Oh, of course you did. Yeah, I'll push it down. Wait, it won't be high enough on its own. Oh, right. Good point. Uh... We'll bring the cart over. We'll meet you halfway. There you go. That's using the old noodle. The what? It's the... Your bra... The noodle, it's a saying. Is it your brain? That is not what I pictured. It was a compliment, Chris. <laughs> There we go, old switcheroo. You two are doing just great down there. Okay, ready. You got it. Arms away. Use my rope. Go ahead. Use mine. I'm part of the rope club. I'm honored. It's clear. Come on. Here, I got your rope. Thanks. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. Hang on. What's in that crate? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe? Uh, maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms, did We... <laughs> they didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's a solve. With... <sighs> Orca. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, there he is, in all of his mullet glory. Right? <laughs> she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. We got a plan, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Safety's off, chappies. No word from our lookout, so we're on cleanup. Take extra care with Miss Rod. Chopper's airborne. 
No. Better stick around to clean house first.
Ma'am. Are you looking well? What the hell have you done with my company? Made it profitable, for starters. I think that was a rhetorical question, love. I should have shot you back on that god for second island. I wish you had. It would have spared us the sight of watching you turn tail and run. How would you just hash your shit out on your own time, okay? Uh, Tusk, please. You two. Partners. <laughs> Either you've got a piss poor memory or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sides today, aren't I? I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. Owl's belt. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. Cat. <clears throat> Gun! <clears throat> nice shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the hell off me. Yep. All right. Um, hi, a third of that is mine as well? You're splitting, Chloe, sure. Okay. I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. You hang on a goddamn second. It's a bomb. What? A Sav traded the tusk for a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this, this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city. Through the market. So we'll find the nearest town. Notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And that is a terrible shame. But we did get what we came for. I... <sighs> what? You are not seriously going after that train. Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll... We'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. Hey! <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? What, you're not gonna leave me back there with her? Out! No! I call shotgun. Nah. Fine. I'll sit in the back. on your road then. Hey Sam, did you want to drive? I mean, kind of. Too bad. Buckle up, buttercup. Let 
This isn't my car. There, I see the train. We're gaining on it. Don't slow down. Shit, motorbikes. Run them off the road. Hey, this ain't your car, pal. Shake this asshole. Out of my way. Come on, get it. Check someone else's car. Get them. Don't you worry. Get closer and I can jump aboard. You got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't get him, ladies. Don't shit. Good luck, mate. Think he'll be all right? Didn't know you cared. Uh, he's got a tusk. Hey, did you catch where they put that giant crate? Near the engine. Right. That's our next stop then. Nowhere to climb. Let's try the other side. Whoa, easy now. Okay, good. Making progress. Out here. Oh shit! Company's here! A soft gas. Well, we still have the element of surprise. Keep going! We have to get 
to the engine. Got any good news? No! I thought I'd ask. Sweeter, won't we bollocks it all up? I think we're almost there. Why, Budge, let me help. No, oh, this is really heavy. Go, I got it. Okay. Oh, it's way bigger in person. It's military grade, all right. Here, help me. 
It's too heavy. You can't disarm it. Hit a detonate if I tried. All right, plan B then. Let's get to the engine. Again! Okay, you go. Okay. That's definitely the engine. We can slide this way. Come on. No. No, no, no! Oh. I welded it shut. Shit. Hey, roof hat. Don't think about what you're doing. Just do it. Come on! Can you not? Oh, this one's welded shut too. There must be another way. Oh, if you've got any ideas, I'm all ears. A switch! What? Up ahead, a switch house. If we can get to it, we can divert the train by some time. That sounds good. We'll need a ride. Too. I mean, she seems pretty capable. Sam. All right, I'm just here. Shit! Shit! God damn it! Come on. Go! I'll keep him the bank. Hey! That worked. Oh my god, the bridge. Shit! Shit! myself a patient man. 
But you two are a special breed of mongrel. Rude. I'm really going to enjoy this. Come! Show me how it's done. Hold still! Did you practice this off? You'd risk your lives. And for what? A city of peasants. Christ, you're insufferable. The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. Take your shot! Not you, it's me. Good assault. This is my land. What could you possibly stand to gain? Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb! I'll just buy another. I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg oh. me to save them. Marine! Let's finish this. I'll break you. <laughs> Don't fight. One should know when they're conquered. Your time ends now. Oh shit! And you? It ain't. Now I'm coming. You have a conscience. Who could have done it? guys get out of that you know I'm just still figuring that out myself and uh Asav went down with his train oh, 
Well, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. We just did a thing. We did. So, what's next for Nadine Ross? Take back Shoreline, conquer the weapons trade. I'm done with Shoreline. Really? Really. If anything, I was thinking I might give this uh, treasure hunting racket another go. Know of any selfish dickheads who might be in need of a partner? Right. Not you. Okay. <gasps> oh, sorry, I only work with professionals. <laughs> right. And where's the tusk? You go. Oh my god. What? Sam. I'm just joking. There you go. Your face. Ow! Okay. Jesus. That's my last cigarette. <laughs> Man, that's a beauty. Yeah. How much, uh,. What do you think that we're going to get for that baby? Well, surely the Ministry of Culture will give us a, a generous yeah, yeah. finder's fee. <laughs> right? Partner? Elbow. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> the Ministry of Culture. Oh my god, you're serious. Mm -hmm. I got it. Private collector. Huh? Just hear me out for a second. I, I, I understand taking the moral high ground, and that's great. It really is. I am completely on board for that. But if we could just... Don't ruin the moment. Thank <laughs> you.